Okay. <coughs> hey, how we doing? How's it going? Bada bing, bada boom. It's railroads online time. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't. I don't know what this intro was. Ah, uh, how are we all doing? And just to confirm, some of you in chat, yes. Yes, that was a microwave playing during the song. A moment of silence for Hattons. Oh yeah, I heard the news. Was never into model trains, I'm going to be honest with you. That's not part of the hobby I've been interested in, but... Yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. for real, for real. Lost, dude, lost a G. Anyway, uh, we're all joining in. Uh, can I show you guys world's scariest model train wrecks after the stream? Uh, maybe not this one. This is a railroads online stream. And it's, it's rare we ever, like, these tend to go on for a while, so it's rare that we ever do something after the stream, but, you know. Whatever. It's Railroads Online. I'll, I'll be honest with the USS Salem, it's probably best that we don't try and do it this stream. You keep offering to pay me, and then I keep forgetting, or I keep getting, doing too long, and I don't just end up not watching it. So, sorry. Uh... Turn of thought, is this the new map or Pine Valley? This is Pine Valley. Where, um... Where we started this months ago. Trying to just, you know, play the game, just complete Pine Valley so we can get some fuel. And... This time we're going to the Ironworks, because we keep... Saying, oh, we need to complete this game, we, we need to get to the Ironworks. And we're going to get to the Ironworks today. And joining me... And joining me on this stream... Is... It, it's just River. Just... Oh wait, hold on, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have the desktop audio turned up, now speak. <laughs> just me. Yeah, just River. No one else. Absolutely no one. Yeah, else. No one else. If you hear a third voice, you're going crazy. <laughs> it's schizophrenia. You're going mad. Kill John Lennon. Kill John Lennon. Kill John Lennon. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the stream has just started. Don't make jokes like that. The stream is. No. What's so bad about that? He's already dead. <laughs> Yeah, how are you gonna do it again? Yeah, <laughs> gonna dig him up. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Hello, everybody. Oh, uh, welcome to Railroads Online, I guess. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's just play the goddamn game. Oh boy, oh, boy. I guess so. Hi, that's River, that's Mike, in case you couldn't tell the two of them. They, they look very similar. Yeah, we're the three twins. We look, we look very different. We're the three amigos. Yeah. We're the good, the bad, and the ugly. I call dibs on the bad. Oh, I'm the good. Well, okay. It all works out, then. Well, I'm glad we're not fighting over the roles. <laughs> I, it, that's the sort of teamwork you can expect from Train of Thought Industries. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We are professionals. They've, they've both watched Industries? The Wait, you finally made a company? Are we gonna get paid? <laughs> no, yes. God. Don't start this. <laughs> Don't start this. Oh, boy. So what are we going to be doing today, Todd? Well, thank you for asking, third voice in my head. Um, <laughs> if you hit M on the map, you will see... We have gone to the logging camp, the sawmill, the smelter, the iron ore mine, and the coal mine. But the next stage into progress is the ironworks. You really sound like a children's show presenter right now. I, I just want to comment that. You sound like a. Today we'll be going to the ironworks. Can you spell iron? Today we're what going to the ironworks, and we're going to see 
how frying pans are made. Wow! Isn't that amazing? Also, speaking of uh, British narrating children's voice, etc. and so forth, uh, you'll notice that I have already gotten all the resources we're going to need there, just so we're not, like, making the path there and then having to go to the coal mine and then having to get this, that, and the other. I've got the wooden beams, the wooden planks, I've got the raw iron, and I've got coal as well. Uh, we didn't have enough of these flatbed wagons to carry both all the raw iron and the wood planks, so I had to buy ten more uh, wagons, and mm. you'll notice if you look at the names starting over here, they're all British, uh, all British television icons. They're all British? Well, not oh, necessarily okay. television icons. They're all just icons. You know, we've got Basil Brush. Uh, we've got Hacker T Dog. Uh, we've got Wallace Gromit. Uh, we've got the O Mosley Brick. We've got the we've got Brum, we've got Danger Mouse, we've got Dennis oh, and Nasher, that? we've got Mr. Bean, and we've got Guy Martin. So we're just the British greats. I'm surprised we haven't named any cars after like the like Hammond, fucking Clark, oh. Clarkson, oh, yeah, Clark and and, <clears throat> and the other guy. I don't know what those would be though. <laughs> Well, the May wagon would just be way too slow. I yeah, guess. true. Richard, the Richard one would just be derailing all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, it would flip over. Mm. flip over. Anyway, uh, so we should probably start shunting these engines, and we should probably start laying some track. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, so what are we doing? The track well, goes well, this way. Well, usually the way this works out is I end up laying the line to the place, while Mike usually ends up playing the infrastructure line, and River just sort of goes batshit cutting down trees. That's true, yeah. So should we just stick to the formula? Back to our roots? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Right, so right, I'll go to the... We're going to the iron mine, right? Iron works. Iron works. Oh, I see over there. Gotcha. Over here now. Which is, as you can see, we've got all these switches and points here. So we just keep going down here, and oh god, I hear trees falling. No. Wait for me to start placing track before you start cutting trees down. Uh, these, are, these are too close to the... Uh... Yeah, it's ambient. It's, it's a nice... It's a vibe. It's ambience. Yeah, but what if we need to put a Walmart here? Well, uh, then we can Todd, cut down the trees when we need the Walmart. Todd? Yeah? People are, saying, people are saying that the stream is frozen. Oh, for... Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's broken. I just noticed on my screen, too. Yeah, it's frozen. Oh, you are <laughs> actually kidding me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, why? It's still on map view. Why is it still on map view? What? Apparently the stream isn't frozen, we can see your mouse. Oh, what is going on? Okay, chat, uh, this stream you're just gonna have to imagine what's happening. Hold yeah. on, okay, one yeah, sec. This is... Okay, everybody, close your eyes. And then rotate that cube. Okay. Yeah, put... Okay. A picture a cube. You can rotate a cow in your mind, it's free, and the cops can't stop you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That should... Okay, has that... Has that fixed it? Has that fixed it? I don't know. That should have fixed it. You're on the map screen still. Okay, you're good, you're good. There we go, sweet cheese. Yay. Sorry for ignoring you, chat. I was too busy actually getting this whole thing set up. So do we need to do... Hold on, do we need to do the whole intro again? Nah, <laughs> it's fine. Everyone knows what we're doing. Okay, chat, you don't need an intro, right? You, you get the vibe. Okay. 
Yes, Todd, we get the vibe. Yay, chat got to the vibe. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on a wild adventure. We. Oh, well, this will be easy to lay track. It's basically just a straight line. Yeah, it's pretty flat, so... Th really, the most difficult part is keeping River's Birchlust sated. Mm-hmm. I'll try to keep it in my pants, okay? Thank you. Let's also hope that we do not come across any sort of hostile entity. What? Huh? Well, do you not remember, like, if, like, in the Have first... Have they added those? No, like, yeah, in, the first, in the first stream, there was, you know, the big cube in the sky that was presumably God. Then there was another... Oh, yeah, true. Then, like, I can't remember what happened, but it was in the next stream, Mike got, like, dragged off into the forest by something. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I you know. That. Now we're cutting through the middle of woodland. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, we might want to. I have a saw ready. We might want to, you know, we'll... just keep a yeah. keep a mind open. Our movement speed also seems to be a. Uh... Oh Jesus Christ! You're already deleting track. Oh no, no, well, we're still going in a straight line. I was just trying to. Okay. <laughs> I was just lowering the gradient down a little. Just like so I'm bit... cutting as you go, so <laughs> just so a bit closer to ground level. Yeah. Just keep going up and down and up and down with the gradient. Make a roller coaster. We'll just make a nice hill. Which is a good idea, by the way. Roller coasters are fun. They are roller fun. Coaster. Uh not the most ideal for carrying goods, I'll be honest with you. A thrill, sure. Um mm -hmm. but long term transport. And a sustainable means of getting from A to B. What do you mean? I take a roller coaster to work every day. God, the Canadian transport system's more fucked than I realize. Isn't it? <laughs> You're damn right it is. How do you get to work every day, River? Well, I catch the uh, 748 roller coaster. Yeah, we call it the uh, the polar bear whirl. Mm -hmm. You just have to wait at the bus. You're just waiting at the stop. Okay, and uh, what time is the uh, is the uh, next exhilarator taking off? I don't know. I was trying to think of a generic roller coaster name, and I couldn't. Exhilarator. Exhilarator. And I ended up just making up like the name of a goddamn adult toy. Right, the exhilarator. When's the next Rose toy going? No. All of the world the no. Oh boy. Anyways, I was I was gonna say uh, I remember one time in high school, uh, we our uh, our lunchtime got shut down because there was a polar bear outside. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that was a have? thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, you... I, sometimes polar bears just kind of like float on some ice and just end up on the island. Hold on, Mike. It <laughs> says I'm like yeah, right by you. What? Where are you? Where are you? It says you're in the middle of the woods. Trying to find each other in the forest. What? This oh, is, I see you. This is some Blair Witch shit. What's going you're on? You're over here. I see you. What? You're over here. Oh, hello. Yeah, I've what? been building you, over here. Have you just been wandering through the... Oh, you've been... No, it... I've literally... I thought I sent... I, I told you... I thought you were doing the infrastructure. Well, there's hardly any infrastructure to build. There's only three stations, and they're all in Have a line. Have you been doing another I've, railway? I've just been building a straight line from the ironworks over here, like like it's dead straight. Well, oh. I'm just I'm just making a nice big sort of gradual curve. Well, uh, make the curve starting from here, because like. No, it's I'm going. I'm going my own way. I've already I've built already it. Built this whole straightaway. Yeah, but I'm the one recording and streaming this, so my point of view goes. We need to, like, record on multiple POVs, like uh, the Yogg's cast, and then just jarringly switch back and forth every so often. But we don't have, like, an, we don't have anything indicating whose point of view it is. We just keep switching back and yeah. forth with no, with, like, little yeah, to we... no regard for the audience. It gets really confusing to watch. Especially since all the player models are the same. 
So I all use I've been just... reading chat, I feel bad. How's it going, chat? Oh yeah, I've not been reading chat either. Sorry, chat. Diggy diggy hole plays, yeah. Sorry, it's been like three months since I've, um... Since we've done a Railroads Online, it's... Yeah, it's been three months since really I It's really mindless. Yep, it's been three months. Three entire months since I last, you know, uploaded a YouTube video. You know, it's... So much happens. Great. How many trees does River need to cut before he's satisfied? Um, just yeah. what? Is this, is this the only thing I'm known for now? Yeah. How many trees <laughs> you sort of, you know, you sort of I've, cemented yourself as the tree I've cutting psychopath, myself. and you've yeah, true. Now you understand how I feel. <laughs> like any time I mention my job to someone. In passing, oh, trains. I, yeah, my whole job is I, I you know, f I give facts about trains. You know, that's my my whole job. Oh, j just train. You're like that's it. Like that's it. Like you just talk about train. Like yeah, I you know I I give I have uh, different sort of facts and whatnot. The first thing I say, oh, could you give me a train fact? And it's like, <laughs> you know yeah. that thing. You know, there's that bit like Canadians will do where they're just caught out in public. And someone will say, oh, tell us a joke. And when they find out they're a comedian. Like, yeah. I, I genuinely now understand their pain. Because it's like... Oh, I see the uh, other railway right here. I built mine perfectly straight. And look at what you're doing. It's all it's all bendy. Yeah, all right, we make, have, <laughs> you we have make to a 90 also... degree curve. You also have to right consider, here. though, I'm building a slightly wiggly line. Because you'll notice uh, there's the oil field and the refinery. And I'm making it so this sort of uh, snakes round a little bit to the oil field. And so we've got a slight angle we're approaching from so we can continue from one to the other. You see, I, I've, I've future-proofed this. You were just thinking of the here and now. I see. Okay. This is what sort of short... This is the sort of short-sightedness that has cost this country millions. Trying to put a rail down here, it's difficult. Why also, is why is why is the track so far away from the platform? It's not far away from the platform, it's right there. There's, there's a big gap. That's a very reasonable gap, It's a I big think. gap. That's not a big gap. It's a, for this Wait, game, it's a big gap. Why is there a tree going through here? I haven't chopped it yet. Yeah, River needs to satisfy his... Holy shit! Okay, uh, what, what the fuck's up in the sky? Where what? are you looking? What? There's something in the sky. Where? It It's pointing at me! What? <laughs> Where are you? What's happening? I'm, I'm in the middle of the woods! There's something... It's gone. Did, did you take screenshots? Did you take screenshots? No, I didn't. I was no. about to. Then I looked down and I looked back up and it's gone. Was it a big rectangle? What was it? No, it was like a fucking like copper square. A that was like pointing wherever I looked. Oh, Fuck, was I need to get out of these woods. Hold on, was it the saw icon? No, it wasn't. Because the saw was on the tree. The chat, chat's immediately exploding. He's seen the forbidden one. The trees are out for revenge. Run, run, run. It's... Fuck, I need to get out of these woods, man. Are you, are you, so you good, man? Are you good? You, 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 you know, you've been working for so long. You know, you, your job's getting to you. Oh, no. I, I looked up because I saw a fucking tree just fly into the air. Oh, there it goes again. Another what? tree. <laughs> wow, this fucking iron mill is loud. It is really loud. I mean... It's an ambient hum. Got a, they got a lot of iron to process, guys. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be so goddamn loud. Yeah. 
Also, I'd love, like, why is there an ironworks just in the middle of the field? Uh, it's the only place they could build it. Uh, they enough. couldn't build it closer. I'd say the council wouldn't give them planning permission anywhere else. Yeah. The, they homo actually don't the homeowners own this association land. were really strict with this one. They actually don't yeah, own the land at all. They just they just put the it there, land. just in the middle of the woods, hoping that nobody will see that they built it here. The HOA denied my oh. request to build a smith in my backyard. <laughs> Dwarves be like, those goddamn elves won't let me build a forge in my backyard. <laughs> I wish there was more ponds in this game. I do There's too. a lot of just open... There's no, like, water, barely. There's like a big waterfall over by the fucking smelter and shit, but that's it. Bing. Bada boosh. General rule iron smelters tend to be built roughly at the midpoint between the iron, the coal, and the place process. The process iron is going due to not wanting to haul more stuff further than needed. Why can't they just put them right beside each other? Oh, yeah, we'll build the ironworks as close as we can. Yeah. Meanwhile, the so we can like look at, bring it over look by at the hand. location of the iron ore mine, the coal mine, and the smelter. It's like I understand. And then the iron. Yeah, mine. And look I'm, at the distance. I understand a, a mine has to be in a specific spot, obviously. But like, why does why does the ironworks have to be so far from the smelter? You know. They couldn't have put it in a more convenient spot, not in the bottom of a fucking valley. You know? I know what you mean. Though. I think they're just a little silly. <clears throat> so there we are. The the early pioneers of America. It turns out they were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Yeah, just put everything closer. Yeah. Put the refinery right next to the mine. Why are you they... going so far away, bro? What? You don't gotta. You, do, you don't gotta go so far away, but we got all this land. Yeah, save it. Yeah, nah, just don't. You, yeah. you don't have to Dude. claim all okay. of it. Think like, of the Walmarts you can it's build. desert over there. It's like, it's nothing. There's nothing over there, dude. I do love that as well, how it's just like, yeah, we'll settle here in like Las Vegas and whatnot. Like, my brother in Christ, it's the middle of the desert. It's the middle of nowhere. Why are you living here? Hey, he... I just want a little challenge. I just want to have some fun. I got a bunch of horses. I need a lot of space. But, like, I, I get settling in, like, the Midwest. Or, like, the mid... The, just the middle of the country where there's, you know, it's rel it might be relatively flat, but you know, that means, you know, it's still wet, there's still grassland for you to rear animals on, you know, I, I get that, like, there's stuff there, but like, why settle in a desert? You yeah. Know? Well, deserts are pretty cool, actually. I, I like them. I think the coolness no, no, factor they tend to be very outweighs hot. the, um... <laughs> <laughs> I think the coolness factor just um, just outweighs everything else, you know? Yeah. That's just it. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's just right. cool. Why, why are you going to the desert? Bro, it's cool. Are they cool, though? Cool. Yeah, there's like a bunch of sand out there. Yeah, but like, once you get past like, you know, the the dune aesthetic, like, what is there in a desert? You know? It's like a cactus. Just one. Just a cat. If you're lucky, there'll be one. Yeah, 
dead? I mean, well, what, do you need two cactuses? I mean, the more the merrier, right? Two cactuses to keep him satisfied. Look at this guy, he needs more than one cactus. Sorry my brain requires more stimulation than just a single cactus. Sorry that, you know, I am not satisfied with just one single pointy plant. Well, so I mean, so I the other reason to settle point. deserts is to avoid the polity that controls the nearby area outside the desert. Oh, that is true. Like, if you're just like, I want to... Why is there a railway just going go into the building? Oh, I was just using that for a reference so I could lay down some... Oh. <laughs> just what the sure fuck are you doing? Equal height. Oh, that is so far away. What? That would be a cool... That is kind of a, a reason people go into the desert. In fact, there's actually, like, uh... I, I read about this a bunch. There's, like, what is it? Uh, Slab City out in Nevada? Which is, like, uh, an unincorporated community. That's, like... Oh, like, yeah, I like, think I've seen, yeah. like, a fucking, like... Vice News, yeah, uh, a video Vice about that. Yeah. I always thought they were so cool. Like, that's a cool concept, and I like it. A, a commune? Yeah, it's cool. You dirty, filthy commie. I remember, th I think I saw, like, a documentary about it as well. It was, like, on, or at least one person that lived in, you know, like, one of these, like, outside of the public sort of domain kind of places and it's like there, there are just no laws there like yeah it, it has been noted several times people have murdered each other over just stuff like I want that for should. my I want that for my place give it me no I want it and then they just kill each other it is genuine thing now Mike no. Ah, see, it works fine. No. What is he doing? Just, that just curve just... is way too tight. There is no engine that could go around that. Betsy could go Christ. around that. <laughs> It'll be fine. This is why I say lay the infrastructure first. Well, there goes the tree. Well, I did, look, dude. Like, because if I I tried to make that curve out of like those using those like what is it those uh those switches pieces, but it would have taken ages to get from one to the other. Just just go, do a turn. And just have a curve from here to there. Perfect. Yeah, easy, fine, done, good. Fuck you! I'm going into the mountain to make a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the last we ever saw of River. <laughs> Just wondering. I'm actually gonna run into the woods to see how f high up I can get on this mountain. River just becomes like, so like a Yukon man. Just I was gonna say, vanishes. like, what is it, like that penguin from that, uh, the, the Werner Herzog film. At least it's not really fucking loud in the woods here. It's a penguin. If it was, I'd be scared. <laughs> if you're in the middle of the woods and it gets loud, run. In what direction? Whatever way what that is. What the fuck noise. is that? What? Oh, well, that's what? the oil field. I've never oh. actually seen the oil field here. I went over the hill and it's just fucking giant post things. That's yes. where the oil comes from, dude. We put we put big straws in the ground and we suck it out. They just slurp it all up. We we just. Great th this thing's fucking massive. All an oil field really is is just the world's most convoluted big gulp. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all. So if ever you hear someone saying, oh, I work on an oil rig, you know, I'm one of the most... I'm a real hardy person. You, no, you don't. You just, make, you just make crude oil big gulps. That's all you do. Yeah. Suck. What about the refinery? I've never seen this before. I'm going on an adventure. Oh yeah, the refinery is also really noisy as well, so I feel like I should just tell you that now. Yeah, it is really noisy. I've seen I've seen them before though. They're noisy in real life. You live next to That one. means it's okay. Yep, right next to one. My my neighbor. 
My neighbor refines oil. <laughs> it's yeah, why my you, that's where you get the petrol for your car from. Is you just <laughs> knock on your neighbor's door and you're like, "Hey, mate, can you got any? Uh, you got any oil going?" Yeah, that's fresh. That's where from I get the all source. my cooking. That's where I get all my cooking oil from. Don't mind that all my food's black. <laughs> It's not burned, it's just really soaked in crude oil. Yeah. I heard that canola oil was bad for you, like those seed oils, you know? So I went to crude oil. Yeah, you know, you just can't trust, you just can't trust companies anymore. You don't know what oil's good for you. So I decided, uh, I'm doubling down, I'm drinking crude oil. Mm hmm And you know so what? I feel as healthy as a yeah, horse. Bro. But like, you know how people still have wells on their land, like to you know have they fresh like fresh spring water and whatnot. You yeah. just you just have that An oil well. <laughs> you just have, to, but it's like an old pump, like the ones they have in cities. It's just a yeah. pump, and you're pumping oil straight from the ground. <laughs> I love dinosaurs so much. I drink them. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how. I love the fucking chat. Paul Burrow said, "Right, I'm going to take a piss." And <laughs> USS Salem says, "Do we do we need to know that? Honestly, yes, That's we, do. we do. Keep us updated, man. Got to make it's sure. Fun. You know, you've got to make you got to look after your audience. You got to make sure they're hydrating." Yeah. Exactly, and one of the yeah. best things. Everybody, do, everybody in chat. Next time you take a piss, piss, tell us. Yes. No. <laughs> Please, I don't want this to actually become a thing. <laughs> Tell us when you piss. DM Todd. I'm back! No. Welcome back, Paul Burroughs. We missed you. Good thing uh, we knew where you were because we? you told us you were going to take who a piss. Who is we? Are you speaking French? What do you mean, <laughs> we missed you? We missed you. We missed you. My video quality went to 144p. Turn it up. Yeah. Turn it up, you silly goof. No, Tot, you're streaming at, like, 144p. Nah, I'm not. My my monitor is 1920 <laughs> by 1080. Jesus Christ, you're yeeting all of the fucking trees. You gotta get them out the way, dude. You gotta be gentle. Oh, boy. Yeah, Let a professional you. do it, okay? Okay. I got it up to 720p. I think that's as much as you're gonna get it. I think it's that's what Todd streams at. But it's one frame a second. Mm -hmm. I'll be on the toilet. I'll update you as it goes. No. <laughs> Thank you, Avin. No. I don't want this to be my audience. I don't want to, <laughs> my audience to just be a load of people with piss kinks. Okay. Uh. Hey, you're the one bringing kink into this. There's nothing weird about. Yeah. It. Letting, letting your RK says, uh, I'm still waiting for the marketable plushies of the plot convenient Mike and River. I, I think he'd be sued into oblivion if he made a marketable plushie of me. Oh, yeah, yeah. because your internet persona is what well, is the Gallade, isn't it? Yeah. Pokesona, if you will. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll need to, um, I'll need to actually make one. Or it's like, ma you'll, you'll have to have, like, it be like one of those knockoff ones. Like, you know yeah. how there are some YouTubers that do have, like, a, you know, a Pokemon as their, like, mascot and whatnot, but they have, they've changed the design. They've changed it, yeah. Just enough that it's recognizably still that Pokemon, but legally distinct enough. I'm not Gallade. I'm my original character. He's Malade. Malade, yeah. Malade. It's like, um, there, the there's galley. this one... I'm my, uh, mama laid. There's this one YouTuber I used to watch, like, a lot as a kid, um, uh, Hoodlum Callum. And he used to go by Hoodlum Scrafty. But I'm guessing, uh, he couldn't go by Scrafty anymore, because that's a Pokemon. Exactly. And, and then cool. also, um... Fuck, I saw this one thing. It's like, SM4 or something? I don't know, they make, like, fucking... Like, Gmod fucking... Oh, the Gmod SF... Mario guy. Yeah, that guy. 
like he used to have like the fucking squid kid like from Splatoon and like Mario as his like actual models and now they're all like original characters that look really shitty knockoffs SMG4 yes oh god i mentioned that and now it me Meggie, is that the is that the fucking squid kid you're a kid you're a squid you're a squid you're a <laughs> You're, you're fucking dead. Oh, man. Splatoon rocked, dude. <laughs> I literally bought a Wii U just to play Splatoon. Dude, I have I Splatoon 3. I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> I, I even got the special Splatoon that edition. Made a whole arc out of it where he was sued by Nintendo. That's really funny. I always love whenever, like, something comes around to do with copyright or there's like some kind of stupid legal thing to do with it and the creators just take the just take the absolute piss i remember regular show they had um they had like a batch of merch made at one point like a uh, mordecai and rigby like little figures and yeah. they were so terrible like the rigby what like you know how like traditional nutcrackers have that like big slidey uppy down jaw like, yeah. the Rigby model had a jaw like that, and like they literally made an episode where two guys approached Mordecai and Rigby like, hey, we've noticed your exploits we want to make action figures and whatnot out of it and then Mordecai and Rigby are handed like a drawn version of these actual toys, and they just start <laughs> ripping into them <laughs> what's better as well is that episode basically later on turns into, I think, like a parody of um... <laughs> Neon Genesis. Oh yeah, no, I love that episode. It literally. Of course like, you do. Like a... Well, of course I do. Yeah, because yeah. it's got like the intro to that episode was like a like a shot for shot near remake of the Neon Genesis Evangelion intro. It's great. You can like sync it up to the. Uh, oh, D Man. Uh, I, I did notice five... your comment, oh. D Man. By the way, Fiverr, thank you. Why is the thumbnails rabbit half the size of the human? Because rabbits are small. Bunnies are small, and that's okay. Nope, not okay. They're friend size, they're small. They're the perfect size to sit inside this giant soup pot. You can, uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, chat, I just want to mention, Tot brings up eating, like, animals so frequently, I just want to mention that because it's a weird thing that you keep saying you're gonna eat. Like, I'll post a picture of my little rabbit guy, and then you'll post a photo of just like the gif of that dude from Monster House just like eating something and then running away. Like that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's it's ever if when it's something small. If it's ever just like an actual rabbit-sized rabbit, it's just I then post a picture of like I think. You sent me a picture of, like, a rabbit at one point, and I sent back a picture of, like, the rabbit stew from Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I have know. eaten rabbit before, and it tastes very nice, and I just want to keep reminding you that you are lower on the food chain. When the apocalypse comes, you will be the first person to be cannibalized. Years ago, Kid Next Door did a whole seg a segment based on Dragon Ball Z, where the delightful children became a chimera based on the various forms of Frieza. See that Frieza's in Fortnite now? <laughs> Who isn't in Fortnite? Naruto <laughs> is in Fortnite. Master Chief yeah. is in Fortnite. Yeah. Rick Sanchez is in Rick Fortnite. Rick Sanchez is in Fortnite. Ninja's in oh. Fortnite. Ninjas in Fortnite, Omni Man's in Fortnite. Travis Scott oh, was in Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. R River yeah. is in who, Fortnite. Who, River is now in Fortnite. in Fortnite. River is now in Fortnite. When you, are we gonna get the uh, Train of Thought skin? It's just uh, that. Uh, in Fortnite, just you wait. What, okay, like what? Okay, okay what if you were approach and, tomorrow? And, into by into by Epic Games, Faz Night. right? And they were like, "Hey, love your channel, will... love your stuff." Yeah, we're gonna give you a skin, and every single dollar that that skin makes is going directly to you. Would you do it? Every they don't take a cut. Every single dollar. They don't take a they don't take a cut. Every single dollar 
goes to you. Oh. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I might hate Fortnite, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> like, even if five people buy it, like, you know, that's... I, I can dollars? live with that. You know what you can do with five dollars? I, I could buy... Not much these days. <laughs> not much, actually. Well, not Canadian dollars, but with five British pounds, I could go to the pub and buy myself a pint. With uh, a little bit of change left over a for a bag of crisps. I have yes, to Fortnite's start... great. One day I'll stream Fortnite for you fellers. Actually, and you'll love it. Soon. What? So, that's gonna be... I, I'm gonna be going to the UK at like, um, what is it, like the end of, uh, July, not July, um, the end of April, that's it. Nice. Lads, can I just yeah. say, I don't mean to interrupt Mike, you can t talk about your trip to the, the UK soon. I just want to say, the entire point of this stream was to make it to the Steelworks. We've been going for about 40 minutes, and we're here. Oh, yeah, we've, we've done it. Alright, stream's over. Start playing the Tugs theme. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to deliver. We need to deliver deliver some stuff. Uh, if only okay. it wasn't fucking pitch black out. Too dark. We'll just teleport Cannot. to the Freight Depot. It's fine. Well, we can shunt in the meantime. Oh, you know what we can do? We got more than one train. We don't need to hook everything up to one train. We can just have two trains running on the same track. That's asking for an accident to happen, Mike. I... Nope, exactly. that's asking for a great time it, with your mm, pals. No, I... Uh, Come on, interesting. A great time with your pals. I have my doubts. I can drive a train fine. It's we, not that hard. We can have... And I might be able to drive a train fine. We can take... We can see. Why don't we just take one big train and then we're going to have to like uncouple it and shunt it around it'll be slow and it'll take forever well, we're going to have to shunt around and couple things up anyway we might as well just driving like getting it up to speed will take ages if it's just one huge train and like yeah but then the load is still do you not understand the point of a train is that you can make one big trip instead of several small ones this is why they are superior to cars in terms of mass transit of goods and you are failing and now you're saying, oh, we'll run multiple when... Ah, you're missing the point. Oh, oh they nerf, they okay, nerf right the crouch. What? There's no reason... You don't crouch as much. Train. What you need that other train for, you've already got a perfectly good train. Just use the train you already have. It's like, no, there's a reason you use more than one train. Tower? D Man says river river, we need to deliver. What? What TOT White? No! Oh I'm trying to fill it up. No, don't okay, the thing is with coal I I've I've played this game. It was game on zero percent. Yeah, but I've played this game enough to know that you want to wait a few moments before you chuck in the last shovel load, otherwise you waste some. And coal is an absolute pain in the ass to refill. Well, yeah, um, you gotta go, like all the way up to the, the coal area. Yeah, you gotta go all the way up to the coal. To the you gotta go to the coal area to get the coal, and bring the coal back down to a coaling tower that you then have to load. With the coal. Coal miner, coal miner. <laughs> That's an aggressive toot. It is a really <laughs> aggressive whistle. It's the one thing I don't like about this engine, is how absolutely aggressive the whistle is. Angry. Where's the whistle? Look this one? That's an aggressive whistle. It's so sharp. I can't see shit. You want me can to get you the, uh, yeah. Can you do slash time set day? <laughs> Game rule creative. I also noticed if you're in the cabin and the back headlights is on, it flashes inside the cabin, but not outside. No, it strobes the windows. Yeah. Which, I don't know if that's a deliberate effect, but I don't want to give my audience an epilepsy fit, so I'd rather not stare at it. <laughs> I just keep staring at it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Weed of the week. 
No. 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 <laughs> To follow the worms. Dun, 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 dun. So where are we going? We're shunting. Oh, we just pushed a shit ton of stuff up there. All right, I'm gonna get this train. Never mind, it's just glitching on my end. Wood? The wood? Yeah, that's not. That doesn't have a train there. Okay, I'll hook this train. Oh, actually, wait, no, it's already hooked up to the iron. Ah, never mind. I'm outside. I'm gonna. I was just gonna push the coal. Coal wagons, and I was going to couple them up to the iron wagons, so we can take the coal and iron at the same time. Oh, okay. And will we will we be um will we be, will we be, will we be using the uh, the train that's already in front of it there? One second. What? Uh, the whatchamacallit? I don't know what it's called. The the, the thing. You're not coupled. The I know. Oh. I was I was getting the coupler in place. Because it's fitting. You're not because coupled. It... Pin it. Take the brakes Pin. off. On on the wagons. On the wagons. Okay, that one's good. 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 That one's a hundred percent. Okay, all the wagons are good. Right, Goodbye, I got Michael. The, uh, hello, I've got the thing and the thing put in the uh, thing over here. Good descriptors. Yeah. You know what I mean. It's the thing. Okay, now set the points so that we'll go down the line that Mike is on. Alright. I hope I said it right. Well, if we go the wrong way, I will scream. Well, um... It's this one, right? Yes, uh, it's this one here. Okay. Okay, we're going the right uh, way. Moment of truth. We're going the right way, yes. Make sure the right. couplings are going to properly lock together. Oh, yeah, they will. I put the things on the things, so... Uh, yeah, but you only here. need you only need the link and pin in one, and you need the other to be empty. Well, yeah, that's what I did. I'll put the link and pin in that one over there, and then we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, it's all correct. All correct. We all good. RK said, train of thought, can you name a locomotive Bill Cosby? No. I will only. N okay. And you should know why. Not. Remember the. You should know why I can't name a locomotive Bill Cosby. Because the rule was if you donate five pounds, you get your name on a side of a wagon. If you donate fifty dollars, then that's when you can decide the Here name of the locomotive. Yeah. And you've not donated, so you know. Right, uh, uh Ty, you're hooked up. That's good. Making sure, no breaks, no breaks. Right, so no breaks, no breaks. Going in this direction, right? Yeah. Okay, full speed ahead on this one. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, hold on a sec. Don't we gotta hook up the uh, the wood as well? I was about to say, if you wanna move that forwards, uh, just to the end of the yard. Then I'll connect to the wood train and I'll push it from behind. This is the Thanks. moment of truth. Go to you, whistle. Yeah, I know we've already got an engine called MILF. What about Lee Harvey Oswald? <laughs> no, didn't we name one of the wagons Lee Harvey Oswald? I think, I think we did, so. Actually. How I far think... up should I go? Uh, well, you're gonna have to go past the sort of uh, the bit where this track branches into that one. So, uh, so you're gonna have this... to keep going past the. Yeah, I'll let you know when you cleared it. Okay, currently it's just coasting on 2% regular 
regulator. Uh, so you might want to uh, be ready on the brakes, because that train's going to take a while to stop. Yeah. Okay, it's just coasting now. And I'm ready on the brakes. Just tell me when. Okay, you want to slam on the brakes now. Brakes are slammed. Uh, oh, that's take them off. Real quick. Got like a uh, yeah, okay. you gotta get further. Okay, you Bit. literally roll need to roll like three meters further forwards. Go on, give it a go. Regulators on one percent. And you good? You good? You good? Yeah, Mike's got it. There you go. Okay. Now you hit it. Right. Now reverse. I'll push it to you, don't worry. Oh, okay. Mike, you make sure the couplers are all good. Yep. Alright, I'll put the thingy on the thing here, and then I'll wait on the back of that train. Okay, I put the brakes on just so when the slam hits, it won't roll me forwards anymore. Oh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> ah, so what have y'all been up to, you know, recently? Me? I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. I've uh, been working on, you know, just a couple, I've been working on my videos. Not had a lot of energy recently to work on videos, which is a shame. Uh, so instead, yesterday I spent most of the day playing Psychonauts. It's fair. I've Psychonauts. Been nice. yeah. Oh, you were, you were raving about it. Psychonauts 2, sorry. I've, the first game is brilliant as well, but like... It, it's, it's so fun. The second one, even brillianter. There you go. We're, we're coupled? Yep. Alright, All right. brakes are off. Give it the full tilt. You're gonna need it. Full tilt. Regulator's on 100%. Oh yeah, because it, this track is like basically level the whole way from here to there. We're choo-chooing. This'll take hardly anything. This'll be easy. Bye, Todd. One sec, I'm just gonna stick this in a side in. Uh, take the brakes off. Roll forward. Let's just let's just see where this ends up. <laughs> I've been uh, what is it? I've been playing like a load of Gran Turismo two. Oh, it's like a lot. Of that. Don't worry, I've got a, I've got a way to keep up with them. Da 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 I, da 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 da. What are you doing? I can fly. Yeah, but no, but what, what is? What, what, uh, You're flying? What? What? Uh, how? What the hell is? Why are there bits floating off there? What is going on? A magic. Don't question it. I, I'm looking at your stream. I know what you're doing now. Don't tell Mike though. <laughs> I won't tell him. Uh, That's actually a cool trick. <laughs> yeah, I think we can make this delivery. We might be able, if you want, lads. We could hook up the oil field and the refinery as well. Honestly, we usually do three-hour streams, and we're only an hour in. I mean, we could do that, and then the next stream is just us traveling around and gathering resources. And then finally we can make fuel barrels, and then we can finally say we have completed this game. Well, we've completed yep. the and then we'll never stream again. We'll ne yep. never speak to each other again. We'll, we'll just this. won't talk to each The only reason we stream, the, we ever actually talk to each other, is just because of these streams. He'll finally let us out of the basement. We'll be three. We almost there? No, we're about halfway. We're halfway. Why? In hindsight, why did we choose one of the slowest engines in our fleet to make this trip? Um, is this Peter Griffin? No, this is uh, this is Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, Peter Griffin. Let's say if it's Peter, he's supposed to be damned to hell. Well, he's in a shed somewhere. Train. Good enough.
At least we're taking oh, the scenic. Oh no! D-Man with the $50! Can oh, we God. get a locomotive the same type as Guy Fawkes called Mike Hawk? <laughs> uh, Jesus. You choose... You choose Hawk? You know, there's, there's, there's Hunt. Wait, can we run faster than the train? Yes! yes oh my god, we can. The Climax is one of the slowest engines. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. Yeah, we could just literally just leave this train on its own, run over to the place, and just wait for it to get to us. Don't worry. I'll stop it. With my body. Ow. <laughs> I, I hope that was as funny in your point of view as it was for mine. I just hear, I'll stop it with my body. It bumps into you and you just start rapidly gyrating up and down. That's why I moved my camera started fucking bouncing. Uh. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> that was so funny. I didn't think it was that funny. <laughs> It, no, it's from my point of view, it was perfect. Just the, just the like the, clip it. the monotone. I'll stop it with my body. It's slowly approaching, and then you just riding along with it, glitching up and down. It was just the perfect. <laughs> it was the perfect punchline. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know why I found that so funny. <laughs> oh, the sander's on. Oh, we don't need that on. Oh, it just means we've got more traction. We don't need sand. I just noticed there's sand on... Sand coming out. I mean, there's... You have sand to... everywhere! You have turned the sander off, right? I... Nope, there's still sand coming out. Hold on, let me... Stand out there's of There's no here. indication if it's on or off. Okay, yeah, sand is devs. still coming out. Devs, if you're watching... Maybe a little more movement. No, nope, it's off. We're not seeing enough movement, guys. Well, hold it. It says drag down to open, drag up to close. And I was dragging it down, thinking that was... It's the wrong way around, apparently. Someone said, couldn't River and Mike join you in cursed trains? Um, Mike we're joking. <laughs> I did. I talked about cursed trains at top. And we had a we had a time. We had a good time, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Who is <laughs> had a grand old time. Oh, set the points. Set the points. Turn oh, around. Fuck. Fuck. S fuck. Fuck. Set them to the left. The right. The right. We want to go right. Oh, right. Yeah, there we go. We're good. We're good. Okay. okay. Right. We should probably uh, turn off the throttle. Uh, the first hey, thing that needs to be delivered is the iron. So why don't you go stand on the iron platform and get ready to drop it. Oh, sure thing. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna slow us down because... Oh yeah, won't we have to reverse? Sort of, on the way to the iron? Should we have, we should have put the wood first, and then the iron, and nah, then Nah, it's fine. Is it though? It's fine. Is it really fine? Time? You didn't want to waste fine. You didn't want to waste time shunting. I don't think it's fine. It will be. It always turns out fine. I love the, like, just slow unloading of things. Your favorite part is just emptying everything. Yeah. Oh, boy. I think, uh... Keep it rolling. We got is there not up. enough track? <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> we might need a little more track, boys. One don't sec. Don't worry. Keep going. No, one sec, one sec. Okay. No, don't worry. I, I can fix this. Okay, do I offload the lumber on the back to this lumber platform? Yeah, the lumber get is unloaded at the lumber platform. 
Okay, and the coal is unloaded at the coal platform. And the coal goes at the coal platform. The lumber goes to the lumber platform. It's really. I didn't think so. I know it's. Okay. Just build more track, and it lines up perfectly to where we can offload the coal and the lumber at the same time. Hold on, don't worry, I've got. I'm, yeah, I'm over doing to something. the coal platform. I'll stand on the lumber platform, and then we. Oh, I gotta knock down a few. We trees. get ready. Trees. <laughs> Just make the track sort of double back on itself. You guys should drive three steam locomotives around the Disney Railroad 40 hours in three days. What? Four. I, I don't understand what that's meant to be referencing, <laughs> that a, but okay. Is that a game? I think they're talking about, like, the trains they have at Disney World. Like, the little, little fun little train things. One if sec, you... I, I just need to do <laughs> a little you... bit of shunting before we, uh... You, uh, if you if you buy a buy us all expenses paid tickets, hotels included, Disneyland hotels included, flights included, hotels we'll flights. Go to Disney World. I will go to Florida. I will drink the tap water, and we will go to. We will go to. We'll find an alligator, and we'll bring it with us. Yeah. Give us enough. Give us enough money for a, like a Top Gear type production quality, and oh, we'll yeah. go do it. We'll have cameramen. We'll have sound mixers. It's mm -hmm. We'll have the pole have too. Have River, I don't think you have a license. Todd, do you have a driver's license? No. So it's nope. Top Gear, but none of us have driver's licenses. No, we. You don't need a license to drive a train, do you? Yeah. Actually, yeah, you kind of do. <laughs> well, um. We'll <laughs> we'll think about that when we get there. We'll figure that out. I mean, we could just go to Disneyland and become Florida man. Yeah. You don't want to go to Disneyland. You want to go to like Universal. You don't need a license to drive in Florida. Yeah, you don't want to go to Disneyland, son. What you need to do is you need to go there. To... I don't know. Uh, was it Knott's Berry Farm? Like from what I hear, that's just like a better, better amusement park to go to. What you need to do is you need to go to Six Flags. And then River will get drunk and punch a producer. So, so I'm Clarkson? <laughs> River is Clarkson. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be Clarkson. I'll be happy. I thought you were Clarkson. Brakes. Who needs brakes? These, because I've detached the engine from them. Let me just let them roll. Nah, just let them roll. Let them roam free. Rock and roll. Look, if you let <laughs> Mike is Hammond, that makes sense because I think Hammond had like a degree in art. Oh, yeah. oh it's James May. Actually, no, I guess I am Clarkson then. I'm James May because I'm the one that's like kind of old and out of touch. Oh, yeah, definitely. So that means, uh, yeah, River, it's confirmed. You are now a loud, shouty racist. Oh god, no. At birth. <laughs> I don't want to be racist. Too late, you're going to the racism dimension. <laughs> Michael, stand on the coal. Oh, of course. You're on coal duty. Yep. Couple me up. James May had a degree in music. Someone says, uh, what is it, Mike, your YouTube channel should be called Sale of Study. That's He's sailing? Because no, it's, it's a play on train of thought, study. sale of study. Yeah, so I do, it's not just the train facts, I do the boat facts, River can do the car facts? Planes. Yep, I'll fill out the car facts for you guys. No, it has to be yeah. planes. Cars are overdone, that's what Top Gear's for, right? Yeah. Need River does planes. Okay. Yep, I'll start learning about planes right now. Yep, easy. I wouldn't be opposed to like a sailing channel. Like I've I like boats. I'd like to be in one. You live on an island. You have to get on a Well You don't have to get on a boat to uh to leave. Nah. But it's an option. No, you can just walk. If you wanna leave, you can just walk. 
fuck? You just walk away. You leave one way or another. You like Buster Keaton in that one film, The Railroader, where he just jumps off the off of London Bridge and just walks across the ocean to Canada. Just ends up there, yeah. Literally, that's how the film starts. Is he? It's it's him reading a newspaper of like, you know, see Canada, you know, see see British Columbia and whatnot, and he's just there, dejected, stood on. London Bridge, and it cuts to this wide shot of him just standing on just climbs over the railing and dives into the Thames cut to like, the beach somewhere in presumably Canada and it's just him walking out of the water, sopping wet like, <laughs> tired and exhausted, and it's just like he has walked that entire way my man did not want to be in England for another second which, I'll be fair, as an Englishman, I completely understand. <laughs> uh, how, how many more wood wagons we got to unload? One. And it's unloaded. Yep. Hey, we did unloads it, lads. Loads of lumber. Loads we did of it. lumber. Yeah, how, how was that only like 39 out of 50? My god, that was a huge amount of wood that we uh, unloaded her. Yeah, I don't know why that was only 39. Because it, use, I th it uses it. Oh, yeah, it was. Because if you I come over to the other side, it. you will We now... only have two raw iron and it... 63 coal. As I come over to the other side of the building, you will now see. We There's have. Box. Great! We have boxes full of U2, and we have steel pipes. And we have pipes. Nice! Who has a steel pipe effect? <laughs> Do you not have one on the... I thought you had one on, like, the Discord soundboard. Do you not have it? Yeah, I'm looking for it right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just like, it's like waiting for No, I don't stuff. have it anymore! Fuck. <laughs> oh. uh, hit us with the tail sound bite. Alright. You don't have enough memory in the memory card. There we go. <laughs> what I love about that is... The is as soon as you say hit us with the tail sound bite, I just heard the <laughs> mouse click and then the tail sound. <laughs> oh, oh no, uh, that was right, great. Okay, I'm gonna uncouple this boy. Uh, yeah. Mousey, you need to take it forwards a little. Yep. Okay, forward we go. This was a very long train. Well, they usually are. Yeah, it's it's longer than I thought it would be. I overestimated. Oh, that's what she said. I underestimated. I long. Right, reverse. Hitting that reverse. You good? Put a reverse, Terry. You're going fucking fast now. I'm not going fast. This engine is slow as hell. I, I could not go fast if I wanted to. It might not be fast, but it's geared. It's mighty. Exactly. What it lacks in speed, it makes up for in torque. It won't shut up. <laughs> Train of thought is your locomotive. Is your locomotive is female? Uh, no. I mean, unless you're calling former President of the United States Theodore Roosevelt a woman. Um, is, is your train is female? I like that. That's a good comment. Oh yeah, I need to pay for D-Man. I need to pay for uh, his engine. Brakes! Nah, don't worry, I just put it on forward and just hit it. I love Tails, one of my favorite fictional characters, right behind River and Mike. I like how it's not enough to just put in quotation marks, it's in double quotes. Like, you hesitate to even... even... fractionally 
Tintin is just that they really are real. good at ventriloquism and like changing his voice. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm like uh, I'm like a mimic, I'm like a parrot. Yeah, I'm very spooky like that. Mhm. Mm he is frightening. Playing with his uh, hands, his feet, and you don't want to know what else. What? What the hell are you talking about? You might want to slow the it down. The three gameplays. Eh, it's fine. Fog. You know, playing as three people, you're playing with your hands, your feet, and something else we don't know. I've just got someone else playing on a different computer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's train it. You hired, that's the train you hired somebody else. Yeah. Oh, let's go! We'll leave those wagons behind, we can pick them up later. River and Mike sitting in a tree, hitting each other. Or, H-I-T-T-I-N-G. Hey guys, you want to do chemtrails in a tree fort? No. I would love to do some chemtrails right now. I really need a bump. This is the D and D man stands for stand for disposable income. It actually stands for just D, like vitamin D. It stands for these nuts. <laughs> His full name's actually Vitamin D Man. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a, he's just a carton of orange juice. Yeah. That's vitamin C. Sorry. What's vitamin D? Vitamin D is the one you get from the sun, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> he is literally just a- he is just the sun. We are being- yeah. I am being paid by the He's actual our son. embodiment the of, the sun. Power of the sun. Also, uh, are we using these same carts to like pick up the stuff that we just made at the factory? Um... No, you need different wagons to pick up those. Ah, uh, well that sucks. It sucks. So we're just bringing these home? Yeah, we're just bringing these yeah. home for now. Hmm. And then what we can do is we should, we could probably, um, just build a line to the oil field and to the refinery. Then we can oil. just, then we can focus on you know actually loading and unloading stuff and like progressing that way instead of doing this like one at a time this uh, industry thing. In practice, you actually get a lot of your vitamin D from meat, if I recall correctly. At least in the winter, if you don't live much closer to the equator than you guys do. I don't live close to the equator. I don't either. But in, in I fairness, I am pale for a... I am pale for someone who lives in a sun-starved country. Like... I'd love to live somewhere warm, like Spain. Oh no, I hate the heat. I'm completely Me the too. opposite. Like, I love heat. Like, don't... There's like a... When it's it's hard to have a nice hot day because there needs to be at least a gentle breeze so the heat doesn't yeah. stick. Or it's like, like it, it doesn't have to be like piping hot because then you can't my, sleep at night. Like it yeah, has to be. Yeah, my whole thing is that it's easier to warm up than it is to cool down. You know exactly. Like there are only so many you can put as many layers as you want on, but there's only so many you can take off before you're, you know, before the people in the tall hats and the blue badges tell you to step step in, into the car for public decency. Well, I mean, well, here's my logic: is that it's miserable to go outside when it's cold out. It's just miserable. It's also miserable I, I, to go outside when they're and it's really hot out. Not as miserable. Are you, are you telling me that you don't get like awfully sweaty in the sun? Because I sweat very easily. It, it's just well, like yeah, a biological I mean, defect of mine. It doesn't bother me that much because it's a normal thing that happens. Yeah, it is a normal thing that happens to sweat, but it's still you're in wet clothing, wet from your bodily juices, and you oh, no, stink. Well, like, what you need to get is like one of those, um, I've got a bunch of like, uh, sort of, uh, wool shirts. Like, like it's a special kind of wool, uh, that like, it wicks away the moisture really, really effectively. Like, it's so, incredible. So, so your shirt is full of the sweat, then? No, it's not full. It wicks it away and it evaporates really quickly off you. It, it keeps you cool. It, it's incredible. Yeah, uh, but then it, you're left with the smell afterwards. Well, no, you don't, because they're also antimicrobial. Microbial. So you don't really get a smell. You, you just wash them, and then you, you're done. It's easy. I'd still rather the cold. I wouldn't. I, I don't like the cold. 
I like being outside. You've, and like you've never day. been outside on a nice fall day? Well, I have, where it's well, like just, cold. it's like, it's, it's like chill. 10 degrees out, and like you're wearing a hoodie, and there's a little bit of a breeze. So nice. Oh, yeah, Spring well, and okay, autumn, that, those that, are the best times of year, because yes. it's the right amount of heat that you can have a shirt and a jumper on. And the no perfect. bugs. Well, spring, you've got all the leftover snow from winter still there, and it's all, like, mush and just dirty, muddy slush on the ground. I you say like that, that, but we've not had any snow yet. What? Well, so, some parts well, of the UK have had some snow, but, like, appara apparently we've not had any yet. But, and I'm quoting my roommate here, apparently uh, we are going to have, next week, the worst snowstorm this country has seen in 14 years. Apparently. I mean, we better have a yeah, lot of I've... snow, because I, I love snow. I love sledging, and it's been years since I've done that, and I want to do that. It's just been extremely cold here recently. Yeah. Like, last night, it was... I think it was past minus 50. It's cold, but it doesn't snow. That's the, that's what we're getting. We're not getting much snow where I am is, um, but it is very cold. Uh, oh, Yuri, one, two, three, four, uh, with the three euros and the, uh, what I assume looks like a hippo in commando gear. Yep, that's a hippo. I can't tell if they're getting ready to ski or go commando, but yeah, cool. So, was there a reason why last week's stream ended abruptly, Train of Thought? I, I, I died. He did. Yeah. It was it was inconvenient, but we fixed it. He got better. That you, I don't. Feel like I need to elaborate any further. I just died. Yeah, no, that's it. That's that's just all. That's what happened. It's as Grandma always said, shit happens. And that was one of the things that happened. Was I died? Exactly. Mhm. Mm right. No, we're going left right now. <laughs> you're a goddamn clown, you know that? <laughs> and you're the circus. <laughs> Mike, why did you jump off the engine? Oh, I don't need to be there. Yeah, we could run faster than it, so we can just catch up. Yeah, it can just mind its own business. Here, I'll go in creative mode. <laughs> I'll figure out how to do it. Right, so what is the next thing we're doing? We're building uh, a line to the oil field now? We also need to buy a, another locomotive, because D-Man paid the $50 for one. Oh, okay. And just just to confirm, D-Man, is it Mike Hawk or Mike Hawk we're doing? Mike Hawk, Mike Hawk, or was it Mike Hunt, sorry? Hunt. To hunt an animal. I just want to stress that. I'm very tired. I hope you understand. I don't. I'm just <laughs> very tired. He's so easy. Me too. <laughs> okay, so we want another one of these. We want another ruby. Uh, what color do you want your locomotive, D Man? That's just. Oh, USS you Salem. three should f frolic at the Canadian Railroad Museum. See, that's more reasonable. Actively Where's the Canadian... frolicking as well. Where's the Canadian Railroad Museum? I'm looking it up. Hold on. What uh, is it? Man, oh, it's in Quebec? I don't want to go to Quebec. Why? Is Quebec awful? They're French. Oh, yeah, it's awful. Uh, but yeah, D-Man, you've got this nasty olive green, you've got black with uh, pinstripes or lining, you've got the green, you got the red, and you just got plain black. Oh, and you've got battered up and completely filthy as well.
because they added this as well. I, I don't know if you got. Uh, I don't. We'll see what D Man chooses. But if you look at the stream, like they just added this paint job to some of the locomotives, and it is. I love it, but it's disgusting. Like, it's just filthy, it's rusty. Black with the pinstripes. Do you want it dirty and rusty as well? Because we can make it an absolutely disgusting looking engine. Absolutely nasty. Disgusting. No dirt. Okay, that's fair enough. As long as it's not like this olive green, which someone said this is the colour it was painted, or one of the colours it was painted in real life, I, it looks disgusting. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we can have uh, different smokestacks and headlights as well. So there's the one with like, you know, the, the brass around the top, there's a taller one, uh, spark arrester, big spark arrester, and the headlights, you've got all the different ones, and we've got ones with antlers, the big round one. We'll get the antler ones. Those are fun. Well, we've already got antler ones. We'll get more of them. I'm just waiting for D-Man to give me an answer. Because it's all it's all resting on him. Peer pressure. It's all on peer you, pressure. Man. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. This oh, is how peer pressure, peer pressure works, right? You have to oh. look at the person and say oh. peer pressure. Oh, peer pressure. I Todd, I figured out how. I think I figured out how you you were flying. So, so smokestack two, and you don't care what lamp. Okay, so we'll go with. We'll go with more antlers. Okay. Did you figure it out? I, I might have. I'm, I'm trying is, to place practice, and I think it has collision when I'm trying to place it. It's doing weird things. So it's number six. It's Mike. Oh, that was it, yeah? It was Mike Hawk. Just to confirm, I'm scrolling up through chat real quick, just to double check. Alright, here we go. And I don't think it says anything It's tender, does it? If I was... Yeah, no, it doesn't say anything about its tender, so I'll just put... Uh... Oh, what do you mean check funds? Broke. I. Broke boy. Broke what? boy. Broke. Hold on. Why do I have so little money? Oh, how much money no. do you have? I. I had a. I had a shitload because I did a load of grinding. I have 2k. I got 2k 830. I have 2.6. My money is just gone. Track doesn't cost money to lay. The only thing I can think of is I bought some wagons earlier, but that would have come to no more than like two and a half grand. I had like 10k. Oh. I like how there's a clock there now. No, oh, it's very convenient. Oh no! Mike and River stole the money! <laughs> <laughs> I think I may have, I mean, we may have actually, because I was doing a bunch of the unloading. Oh, yeah, but that, that was just to make the materials. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So it wouldn't have gained us money, because we're not selling anything, right? I don't understand what's happened. How could this have happened? Don, Mike, and River in thick quotation marks. <laughs> well, in the meantime, let's make uh, a path from the oil field. <laughs> Joe Light Railway says, Train okay. of thought. You should save your money then. My gosh, my boy. 
You should be careful with your money, you know. <laughs> okay, Mike. Hate to yeah. be picky about your progress so far, but I think what? this is a bit too close. Oh, for God's sakes. It's also doubly annoying because if you look at the platforms here, this is something that gives me, like, triggers my OCD as well. Is if you stand on this it's platform very and look straight close, down on the yeah. edge, you'll see the two don't properly align. Yeah, I know. And I aligned it to this track and not the other. Let's try again. I guess I'll go and fuck myself. Okay. You hear that, devs? You've you've made Mike hate himself. How could you do this? I said right. to go fuck myself, not hate myself. No, he hates nope, himself. Hate He's yourself. like Van Gogh. <laughs> Van Gogh. He's got that Van Gogh complex right now. All thanks that, to you, that devs. Van Gogh vibe. Beams. Beams. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hold on one second. Oh, is this is this platform not like straight? Yeah, Even. all of none of them are like perfectly straight. So you'll have like. Ooh, I hate that. Okay. It, it's genuinely one of the most confounding things about this game. Right. We'll just Oil. have this go straight, and this should be fine. There you go. Perfect. Okay. I shall continue what I was doing and y'all get the other track. Boop. Righto. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me... On my way. It's this way we need to go. Oh uh... my God. That's really cursed. I, I hate that. <laughs> what? Just me? F That's, just me levitating yeah. and leaving. Don't like that at all. Okay, so. Do, do, do. That's not what I meant to do. Were you doing the Back to the Future thing? No, I was doing Lord of the Rings. Maybe. Yeah. Right. What what difference does it make? What what's it to you, huh? Do 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 do. Oh, I love Star Wars. Yeah. Part is that recky ta tangle from Box from the first stream. He traveled from the furture. <laughs> I, I get the general vibe of that. The, the furture. <laughs> Thanks, Shadow the Spring the Bonnie. Thank You're you welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry, of all the Can names you could have had, Shadow Spring Body. <laughs> oh, God. You guys uh, should do a stream together on Star Wars Battlefront 2 game. See, it's I because love Russian, Battlefront 2. It's because it before. Russian Badger played it, and you want me to become Russian Badger. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think... Michael's computer could handle Battlefront 2? The fact no, that Michael's wouldn't. computer can even run this game is nothing shy of miraculous. I would like to make that very clear for the audience at home. Like, the yeah, fact I, look at the, uh, the specs for Battlefront 2. Like, it's on fire, actually, right now. Like, it, it is actually, genuinely burning his legs. He could. It only requires a three... The recommended is a three gigabyte graphics card. He could, huh. theoretically, 
run Battlefront 2. But could he run Should he Doom? try? I don't think he could run Doom, no. That's asking way too much. Thoughts on the Geico Gecko? Better or worse than the Shaman Bears? Don't you fucking bring up the Shaman Bears. <laughs> I love that um, River's immediate reaction was, don't you fucking dare. Don't you. I was like, we do not uh, mention that name in this house. Yeah, it's gonna make a joke, but I'm not. <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you won't. I was gonna say, he's not as attractive. I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna get more water. Drank all mine. Thirsty. What's with this turntable? Oh, so we can uh, spin the engine round and get it facing forward again once we uh, get to the end of this and sort of pull her back why, up again and pull. Why do you use out. the smallest one though? Most engines barely fit on this one. Oh, because like it wouldn't make sense to have a huge turntable here. It wouldn't make sense to have a turntable there anyway. Ah, fair enough. I'll put the big one down. Me and my rampant crusade against turntables in this world. I don't know why you're so against them. They're cool. But they don't serve any purpose. Like they we serve a purpose in my heart. We mostly use tank engines. We don't need turntables. But they're cool. You they get to spin. Holy shoot! I just saw a tree go flying. Was that you? Yeah, probably. Alright, I'm back. Oh, he's back. Got your drink? Yep. And I just looked at the the chat and it says, Guys, which is better to drink, water or Coca-Cola? Water. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, obviously. Of course. Guys, it's water. Your, it's your always your water. Hive. No, it's Coca-Cola. It's water. It's always. It always uh, has it, been. It, it, it always now, will be. Now, what if you were sponsored by Coca-Cola? Uh, Did that change your mind? No. Oh wait a second, dude. Why? Why am I using two like little dinguses here? What the fuck is this? Hold on, I'm gonna try something. What the fuck is what? It was two tracks that did not connect whatsoever. Okay, we got three tracks. Also, don't we have to have tracks going to this thing for oil? Yeah, the little fountain in the middle. The oil spouts, yeah. Oil. So we need to fit another track here, too. Oh, that shouldn't be hard. That's what you say. Uh, mm. Okay, here's my plan. We got like these three-way switches. Unless you're trying to deal with a nutrient deficiency that the proposed alternative will help you with. Water always wins in terms of actually helping your body. Yeah, but Coca-Cola. D-Man Coca piped up with uh, mug root beer trumps everything. Are you a mug-blooded American? <laughs> I'm a why, why does that sound like... What is it that they say in Harry? Right, what is they say in Harry Potter? They call like non-magic people mud muggle, mudbloods. Oh, uh, Harry Potter. Well, they, they call them. They call them like muggles or something. They call them muggles, but like a slur is like mudblood or something like that. Stop saying slurs. Stop talking about Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, like we should yeah. not give Stop Joanne any slurs. credit. J.K. Rowling, Stop bad. Okay, Harry Potter. Okay. JK oh, yeah. Rowling is in this game doesn't have any music. It kind of eerie without it. I mean, I this usually game. play without music because um I just Pools. Usually... clearly phosphoric acid is far better. Drink Americans drink. bash on about like, that. oh mug, all oh, this would drink this that, and the other. God, if you guys had iron brew, you would you would not know what to do with yourselves, because it is the superior drink. I want to try Iron Brew. 
My favorite thing about it as well, of all the stuff that's like illegal in the United States, like or banned for like public safety and whatnot, Iron Brew is like what well, like we don't have a lot of like these certain drinks from the US because like you know strict health and like strict health and whatever strict guidelines. Health. But like Iron Brew is banned in the US because it has a certain food coloring in it. That's the only reason. Even though they, even though they let through Red Forty and everything, I'm like, oh yeah, wasn't there like there was like an artificial sweetener that like back in the '60s everyone was terrified of, and then like it turns out it's, it's been in use in the in like Europe for ages, and it's it's just fine, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about. Or like how you don't get a lot of black current stuff in the U.S. Oh, there's like a what is it? There's a story behind that. You don't right. For a lot Black no, currant's yeah. like a well, massive flavor over here. In in Canada, we do. We we get that in Canada. Yeah. Oh. I've had loads of stuff with black currant flavor. I can't. I can't remember if I had. I don't think I had. At least out here, I don't know about Newfoundland. Huh. Weird. Anyways, it was like a thing way back in the day. Like way back in the day, like black currants were, if you you weren't allowed to import the berries over to America because I think there was like a crop disease that that they were afraid could have infected other plants, or like it, it would it could have like been invasive and like messed with the the actual ecosystem there. So black currant was just kind of banned for so long that like nobody really has a taste for it in America, and so they they don't. It's not just it's just not really a flavor there. I mean, fair yeah. enough. Like, black currant is one of like the most popular flavors over here of like fruit shoots and shit. Question to both Mike and River: Have you both got a restaurant called Popeyes? No, I don't own any restaurants currently. Um, I've never tried Popeyes either. Me neither. I don't know where the nearest one is either. I don't. Why are people talking about fucking VTubers? Because they want me to become a VTuber. No, it's it's also it's also caused Silver Veil to leave V Shoujo because she felt betrayed over the rest of the talents didn't come to her defense. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Why are people? Are we, is there uh, lore? Are the we just now? are we this bored with railroads <laughs> online that people are actively having conversations about VTubers <laughs> in the just chat. Like a random conversation in the just, chat. I, no, I love that. Keep going. You do, I, I want to Mike and River. I'm talking about Popeye's restaurants near you. I I think like the nearest one's probably like 12 hours away. The conversation went off topic multiple times in a row. That's fine. Did to have your Cuz I know I know V Shoujo is like a fucking like I think it's like a Canadian um owned like VTuber network and shit. Wait, real? What? I think I think V Shoujo is owned like by somebody in Canada. Made by oh. Canadians for Canadians. Canadians. Oh, it's American, never mind. What's the one that's Canadian? There was like a caribou VTuber I saw a while back, maybe they're Canadian? Maybe they are. Oh, Phase Connect is Canadian. Oh boy, I keep forgetting how fun the refinery is to. No idea if it. No, the the agency Phase Connect is Canadian. Because they're based in Toronto, not Toronto, Vancouver. Vancouver. Why I don't know. I'm. I'm not into fucking VTubers anyways. I don't know, you were I just the one know put those them. ones there. And I didn't want to delete them, because those are your- that was your progress. I must have so this is the place that seemed to be with the Copa Corpo V2? When will Mike and River admit that Canada is a government psyop? <laughs> Which government, D-Man? There are a lot of governments. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, it started out- Which it's... government? Yeah. 
Well, I think Base I think Connect what is it just is if you made the psych ward into a VTuber agency. I think what it is is um, the main conspiracy is that, uh, as we all know, Canada is one of many uh, British um, Commonwealth countries. But how can it be one of those if, according to the internet, British people aren't real? That must mean Canada is a psyop. Oh, he made it up. Got him, dude. Got him. Kim, Kim Pippa is part of Face Connect. She's a body. I I know of um. Hip Hip Hipkin or whatever because Pick, of Pickman. um, yeah, Pikmin. I know of I know of that VTuber because of um, fucking Ken Ashcorp, his music, because he made a song about her. Uh, thank you, Todd. What's really funny is that I'm actually listening to a Ken Ashcorp song right now. If any of you guys know who that is, sing. Pikmin sing mentioned. Lyrics. Let's go. <laughs> I I've never played a Pikmin game. I would like to. Uh... No, Todd, this one needs to be a, a, a thingy. What do you mean, a thingy? Like, a, a thingy. You what know, do you mean, a thingy? A, 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 oh, Joe Light Railway said, A question to you three. What happened if you three came across a mindless man-eating titan? Do you run or get eaten? Um, what kind of question is that? No, I, Mike. I guess I... Mike. Mike. Yeah? Because we're going to have this track already going down as the loop. So we don't really need this one here. So oh, okay. the reason Doesn't why Doesn't Ken make all those really sus songs? Yes. The reason why I had this one going this way was so then this could, uh, you know, go around and go to this side. Oh my um, god! River, are you cutting down trees? What the hell are you doing? What's happening? What? I just looked over there and I saw a tree sailing through the air like it was nobody's business. Oh yeah, I'm, cu I'm cutting the shit that's next to the railways. Now, when you say next to the railways, River... Are you doing another... When, like, okay, when they, fly, when they fly off into the air, that means they're like clipped into the railway and they need to like escape, so they just fucking... out. They do what? They kind of like pop out. Okay, make the noise again. They do what out? They kind of. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> they kind of. Out, you know. Just, just the little old, you know, the just a bit of zhuzh. Give him one of that. Yeah. Give him one of the old. Give him one two. Give him the old one two. Give him the old. Uh, a little it's bit. Railroads online. You mean tree cutting simulator? This river. Yeah, pretty much. It's game physics. The trees get yeeted into the air because they were stuck in a part of the world. Yeah. See. I'm not crazy. Maybe. Minecraft as pop sound. <laughs> I'm surprised it came through on my mic, honestly. I am too. Discord had the. It does a lot of noise suppression stuff. Which, it's both amazing and awful because, on the one hand, I don't have to hear someone's, like, family arguing in the background. But on the other <laughs> hand. On the other hand, though. Like, you, you try to clap your hands and you try to make a noise as a joke, and Discord just thinks it's background noise and mutes it. Even though yeah. you might have made punchline of the century. <laughs> Wait a second. Croissant consumer's have... here. Oh god, hi, croissant consumer. Hello. I, I thought we were gonna have like three tracks on this side, like we did at the um at the at the iron mill. Nah, it's fine. Okay. Don't worry about it. You're thinking too much about it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Stop thinking. You got it, boss. I, I don't pay you to think. Oh. Think on your uh, own another, time. Another question. Um, do you listen to any classical music? If not, I'd recommend Tchaikovsky's Serenade of Strings Second Movement. Uh, no, I don't. We're not really classical music heads I here. I listen to classical music every now and then. We're not yeah. classical music listening. heads here, Mike. I I'm listening to uh, Frank Ocean right now, actually. I will not be silenced. <laughs> That's the problem, you should be. Because when it, whenever I listen to music, I just I go into my like songs, and I press play. To be fair, I don't have much songs. It's only like 321 in my playlist, but it'll just go from like fucking anything. 
Like right now I have fucking like Frank Ocean, Tower of the Creator, Mansions, more Frank Ocean, Arctic Monkeys, Rainbow Kitten Surprise, really good band by the way. Um, Fall Out Boy, Tame Impala. A lot of popular music. 321, I only got 174. Yeah, I I used to listen to only a few songs, honestly, from like a few artists, but I switched to Spotify from Apple Music and started branching out my taste in music. I can see what you're doing, Mike, and I can see why you're confused. Yeah, what's happening, Todd? Okay, come <laughs> come back here. Let, let me show you let me show you how a little a little old uh, life little old life hack. What are you doing? Instead of doing it like that. Okay. The tracks are a bit closer together, but it, it, they still work. That way you can get more track. More track per track. space. That way it actually lines up. If, if I can actually place the damn thing. There you go. Connect. You place the, 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 the damn I thing. There we go. Okay. Someone said lever in the track. We are well away. What do you mean by that? Oh, I see it. Yep. Fixing it. Boop. No, I just assumed that set of points was temporary anyway. I am yeah. fixing it. Oh, someone said a uh, question to Robert. Do you destroy trees in real life? Only a few times. Only a few times. and that And he was very, very cross. Someone, someone just said trains. That's so good weird. job. Me, me Ur too, buddy. Ur Productions. Me too. I'm late. Trains. We can tell. River Mike, I bet none of you know what the most powerful locomotive in Canada was. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably a. Uh, a train or something. That's what a locomotive is, Mike. <laughs> yeah, it's a train or something. It'll be fine. What's the most powerful train in Canada? I don't know, probably a train. <laughs> like, probably you know, like a fucking, um, Boeing 747 or something. Probably like one of them things. Train, you know, one of those goddamn, what'd you call it? Yeah, one of them thingamabobs. One of them. Train. D-Man chips in with train again. I appreciate it, D-Man. Train. <laughs> Remember, uh, here at Train of Thought, we support the train's agenda. It's all train. It's all trains. It's nothing but trains. All train, all day. Your one Shadow Wizard, train. Shadow Wizard Train Gang. We love train trains. Shadow Wizard Demon, one again. Uh, donated ten bucks and said train. I, I noticed, D Man. Thanks, <laughs> D Man. Why do you have so much expendable currency? Don't I, ask I, it. I keep asking this every time, and I, I'm not complaining. I'm just concerned. He said on the Discord he grows it in his backyard. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me just picking today's uh, harvest from the money plant. My my theory is that uh, he grows apples. Me going to the money store to get more money. <laughs> it's called a bank. That's just a bank. <laughs> no, it's a Death Grips album. Thank you very much. What the money store? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, don't listen to Death Grips. Go, 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 go. Okay, <laughs> lads. There's two ways we could get to the refinery. There's the boring way, which is actually probably going to require a lot of fiddly track placing because of how we've laid this out. Or the cool fun way, which is a little bit longer. But cool fun way. Mike? Yeah, let's do the cool fun way. Cool fun way it is. If you look at the map... Hold on a second. I'm putting down a thing. Do we go around the... um? Like the mountain, like yep. hug the mountain for the it, cool fun way. Look, because if you look at the map, if you look at the bottom left, you'll see yeah. 
There's just oh, like... we go around the oil field. Oh, we I go, get it now. We go around the mountain, around the ironworks. Mm. I, I mean, then we can just make a big loop around, too. Because we can go from the freight depot, hit I, the I, oil I, field, I, then go I, around I, to the refinery. I, I don't mean to rain on your parade here, buddy, but we're going this way. This is literally the phys this is literally the way we're going. Wait, what? If look at the map. Look at the way the track's facing. Oh. Literally we need oh, to I... go this way. Oh. I see. So uh Okay. Oh, You'll have your turntable eventually, buddy, just not today. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are props. We can we can build you a so nice you, little you town. Turntable we'll build Imagine a nice a little whole town. railway that just like goes around like through a turntable. <laughs> there probably is a narrow gauge line built like that somewhere. Oh yeah, but it's narrow gauge, so it doesn't really matter. What do you mean? This is narrow gauge. The line we are running on right now is narrow gauge. Yeah. Are you saying our railway doesn't matter, Mike? Yeah. It think, doesn't. Think of the lives we are changing. Oh, there goes the tree. Oh. Okay, so we're going... Just kind of around this mountain. Okay. We're going around the mountain. Incredible. Question for Delta. One, two, three, four, five. Um, four. I'm thinking one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Three is solid. Three is solid, man. Three? No, too close to the middle. That's a bold choice. Eaton, you say it's too close oh, to the middle, but I don't know. There's a lot of good. Tra train and game me axe said I'm back. Thanks, we missed you. Good. I was wondering where you went. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even notice he was gone. No. Oh. <laughs> Could you? So yeah, it's a it's a number one fan. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I think D Man. Uh, Wins the title of number one fan. Most committed. Just for the... Most committed. Most yeah. financially committed to the cause. <laughs> yeah, here's the problem. We can't ever incorporate now, because if we did, D-Man would be the majority stockholder. And uh, Yeah, that's true. D-Man but... would have, like, a majority reign over the company. D-Man would just be able to purchase it outright. <laughs> it's like the, the fucking, like, acquisition of, like... YouTube companies by like the big uh fucking like media corporations oh my God, am like I how small to, am I going to get machinima Yeah, you're gonna get machinima yes. yes. Hopefully you get bought out by Rhett and Link. Get machinima idiot. <laughs> get machinima idiot. <laughs> TOT, did you eat your daily amount of tar today? <laughs> I I've been slacking, I'll be honest, with the tar. Uh, I'm sorry. That was, about that. That was from cons Croissant Consumer, by the way. Did you eat tar? <laughs> you Is this why you're asking this? Uh, no, <laughs> I've not eaten what? tar, if that's what you're concerned about. But cro it's Croissant Consumer is the one we should be concerned about, given their track record with peeps. What's wrong, babe? You haven't touched your Sonic the Hedgehog curry. I hate that <laughs> image so much because it's so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like just the blue curry it is so it's so unappetizing. Okay, cons our consumer said I ate tar. Okay. I I bet you did, buddy. I bet you did. Yep. He ate tar. Yeah, it's called the Sonic the Hedgehog curry. <laughs> blue tar. Ben. Shut up, Snoopy HF. If that even is your real name. <laughs> Oh boy. TOT, do you like breakfast cereal or sausage and eggs? Ooh. As in, like, what would I prefer to wake up in the morning and have? 
I'm guessing. I guess I'm taking, so. I'm taking that as the question. I, I'd definitely rather have like sausage, egg, and bacon. Like that. That's yeah, oh it's shit. It's got. I'm oh shit. Train, train, and Gamiax uh, lost their guitar pick. Okay, we guys, we gotta find it. Okay, guys, hold on. Out. Pause the stream. Pause yeah, the stream. Everybody, pause everybody look. I've paused the stream. Okay, we, we, everyone is waiting on you to get your guitar pick, <laughs> so, you know... We're not gonna say, legitimately, this is Legitimately, I have paused the stream, you two you need to get. stop. Everyone. You were recording, and why are you watching my stream? <laughs> What's it? Not here. You gotta find the guitar pick, we're not starting the stream again. Well, I, we're until not continuing you until you've got that guitar pick. It's important. If it was important enough for you to tell it, it's got to be important. If if not, you're gonna have to pull out one of your front teeth, and use that. Jesus. That's okay. the only That's option. The only alternative. None of this using a penny or you know using a bit of card. No, you have to go like the full rock star and pull out. Who's cutting down trees? I told you we're pausing the stream. Sorry. Do you know of that have pulled their teeth out? What? are you talking about? I feel like that's something a singer has done at some point, where they've, like, knocked out one of their front teeth and used it as a guitar pick. It has to oh, have been. Well, maybe at one of those, like, well, yeah, Oh, Weston no. Bridges says, I have a guitar, I have 12 picks. Oh, training games, uh, it just, just put yes. Have you found it, mate? Oh, he found it. Has he? Okay, he found it, okay. Yeah, it. Okay, okay, back to, okay. Okay, we can continue. Okay. Crisis averted, we're fine. We're okay. <laughs> Funny boy shenanigans may resume. I'm looking forward to seeing the upload of this of this stream and just like the viewer retention just dip suddenly <laughs> for that home bit. Have you ever um opened a YouTube video and like hovered over it on PC and there's it shows you like the most viewed parts? Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. You, usually but, like yeah, the most yeah, viewed, yeah. it's always like after like the ad read is over. Mm -hmm. So everybody really just skips. It's just like yeah, plus ten, plus ten, plus ten. Yeah, okay. or it's like someone like actively clicks on it with the mouse. What well, I imagine like when this becomes a vod on my channel, it's just going to be nothing but that. I'm surprised <laughs> you don't have the chat on screen for your stream yet. Yeah, you should I, have that. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that because I need. It's like you've got to sign, you got to like download something, and you got to have that read chat, and then that displays that as another thing. That's got to be another overlay. I mean, I know it, it's. I've set it up before for Twitch before. I don't know how different it is for YouTube. I imagine because basically it would be the same. It's basically you just link. It's basically you set a link because I've used I've used Streamlabs for it, I think, or Stream Elements, something like that. And basically, it, it just links to, like, something for it. Because I've also set up, like, alerts and everything. It links... It's li Linkin Park. Yeah, it links to, like, the chat. And it's just an overlay that you can... Oh, that tree just got fucking needed. I'm just thinking of Link from Legend of Zelda. I mean, there's not a whole lot to think about. He doesn't really say much. Oh, Alabama 1994 JLB said, so gotta get lunch, BRB. Okay, we'll wait for you. Yeah, we'll, we'll Are we pausing here. the stream again? No, we're not oh, pausing the stream. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just give him a good recap after. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll keep you posted. He comes back to the stream, we're all dead. If you're running, if you're going out for lunch, could you get me a coffee? Yeah, actually, I'm a bit peckish. Could you fetch me, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll pay you when you get back. I got, like, a fiver. Just grab me, like, a mocha. No, I'll no, get a bagel. Add... You know what? We'll just get D-Man to pay for it. It's fine. Yeah, true. Yeah, no, he'll cover it. Yeah, we'll just... D-Man, I'll pay you back. It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you later. We'll just put it on our D-Man tab. Like, a half and half. Oh, a, a double chocolate donut, please. Uh, chocolate glaze, whatever they're called. Uh, Joe Light Railway said, watch out for, for Python in the forest, guys. Coding language in the forest? I, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> now it's, it's, it's the JavaScript you got to be wary of. <laughs> Pythons are actually Python is actually a very docile script. It's it's what is it? Um, fuck! What's another programming language? I've ruined the joke. Java. Uh, 
Yeah, well, you already said Java. I C++? To plus plus. Yeah, you, it's the C++ plus plus you gotta worry about. <laughs> Defense said I've become the group's ATM. I've just yeah. had an awful thought and I don't want to say it out loud. Well, you gotta say it now, because you're drawing attention to yourself. Because D-Man just yeah. become our sugar daddy. Yep. God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Mike just immediately says, Oh yeah, I would be a slut without question. <laughs> D-Man, can I have some money for V-Bucks, please? He needs his Bobucks, man. Give him his Bobucks. I need my Bobucks. I gotta get my Bobucks, guys. I need some more Robux. Can you top me up? <laughs> oh god Roblox is just a nightmare yeah why do you think I avoid it like I know there's a lot of people like oh you should play this insert like train management game on Roblox it's really good I'm terrified of Roblox you need to understand why are you terrified of Roblox what's so bad about it I just I don't I don't fuck with Roblox man I it's fun. Tried. It's actually fun. No. Here, I'll, have you like there? There's like fun games like Sonic Speed Simulator, and and then there's really shitty ones like Pomni Fart oh, uh, Simulator that and shit like that. that. Yeah, like, that's oh, why yeah. I just don't oh, fuck with Roblox. It's, it's like I. Ten dollars, Rivers Daily V Buck allowance. Oh no, I need to, now. I need to send. I need to send. You have Rivers to send me the ten I actually have to send it to him because that's that's from D Man for you. Oh no. Yeah, it's my V Buck allowance. I'll, I'll PayPal you. It's fine. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Let's just send it to you on PayPal. Actually, D Man, here's here's a fun question though. Is it? American dollars I send to him, or Canadian dollars? Please be American dollars. Yeah, please. please be American dollars, my currency is worthless. <laughs> my family is starving, please help me. Please send what me V-Bucks? You know V-Bucks? The V-Bucks on Fortnite? It's how you buy skins in Fortnite. And everything else in Fortnite. It's how yeah, you become... Like the jam tracks. It's how you become and John the Fortnite. John Fortnite. John Fortnite. I love that that's just become like... If ever you want to refer to just any character in a game, it's just oh. John plus <laughs> the game name. D-Man said uh, Canada isn't real, so USD by default. Yes. But Canada's in quotations. We're in the money. You're also We're in the in realm the money of now. fiction, apparently. <laughs> okay, so if I go straight ahead, I should end up at the refinery. Oh, I hear clattering downstairs. My roommates are messing with switches or something. <laughs> You're like actually getting robbed. My bike. I'm just gonna look. Come downstairs. My bike is missing. Like, a window <laughs> is broken. And like, Tot, where have you been? We were robbed like three hours ago. I had to fight a man. <laughs> okay, so. I had to kill a man, Tot. I okay, so at this point we probably need to go to the refinery and build outwards from here because it is currently on a small hill. That's small hill. The train's only weakness. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Light Railway said, you guys should play Fortnite on this stream instead. Oh no. I wouldn't be opposed. Do I have to? <laughs> Do I have to play Only... Fortnite? Like, uh, make a bet. Make make it like a donation goal. 
donation goal, we play Fortnite, and then zero people watches it. <laughs> <laughs> because no one's no one likes our non-trained streams. We donation goal, but yeah, D-Man I, can't. I but D-Man can't. Uh, related uh, streams. Yeah, D-Man can't partake in the donation yeah, he goal can't because partake. he will just meet it. Yeah. yeah. We have to make this at least fair. It's like a segmented speed run. It's like D-Man and then non-D-Man. 100k subs for Fortnite stream when? Oh, don't worry. 6Saber003 would watch it. Oh, thank you, 6 Zero Three. Okay, I want you guys to teleport over here to the refinery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we need to start laying track here. But the issue is... Look at oh. this layout. Oh. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Why did they do that? This is... something. That's yeah, the, you have to... What the fuck is this? Oh, it is no. so oh, awful. No. We're gonna have you to have to have it... Them. You have to have this on, like, a fucking curve. You or else you can only, like, place, like, three... things for the steel pipes. There's not a curve that will work for that, though, because they're all so staggered. You either... So basically, but then you also have to get to the crude oil. So basically, with this, is you literally either have to have it curved in a clever way, or you have to just shunt. You have to like unload three wagons at a time, move them back, load four, load three, move them back, load three, move them back. It is actually a nightmare what I cruel like god thought this would be a, a good idea i do not know i feel like the shunting is just what we're gonna have to do yeah like, there, just there's no way infinite shunting oh and then we also have to get to the oil barrels over here hold on i think i have an idea what's your idea What yeah, curve think? into it. It would work yeah, if just just drive into could the somebody, factory. Could somebody cut down this tree so I can place this? Alright, never mind. It's good. When you say cut tree, I say how much. I say jump, you say how much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for, yeah. Uh, no, that won't work. Oh, someone in chat is asking, what happened to the big spiral? What happened to the big spiral? What big spiral? I think it's still there. The roller coaster. Oh, the thing you guys built that was actually the worst thing ever. Um, well, it wasn't the worst thing ever. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> You good? Joe Light Railway said, uh, I wish you guys were crazy in every stream because I enjoy the fun of, of it and it's so funny. It's like I'm watching a comedy show. Thank you. I mean, we can't be crazy every stream. You know, you gotta save your energy. Yeah. Well, that's what you say. I'm always wacky and funny and hilarious. Yeah, the wacky, funny, um, the wacky, funny character Michael. Yeah, I'm the funny little rabbit character that everyone laughs. It's, it's a... Yeah, everybody you're, laughs at. You're the at. funny rabbit character from the it's hit bad. internet show, The Amazing Digital Circus. Mm -hmm. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I was you just waiting me. to pull that on you. <laughs> I was just God waiting for a moment to, <laughs> to just... You son of a bitch. Uh, but no. I mean, I mean, honest, honestly, no. I can see why people are like going nuts about that character. Cause like, you know what? He is funny. It's funny. It's well voiced. But Jesus Christ, just, just Jesus Christ, man. I mean, Mike, I'm gonna be real with you. You're a furry. You you understand? Yeah, no, yeah, of all no, the people, surely you'd understand yeah. what why these things happen. Glass houses and projectile meteorology. 
I don't know why I said it like that. I was trying I'm to asking. do a, a punctuation references. I fucking whatever. You know what I did mean. Did you say so projectile? I, I know you meant projectile yeah. mineralogy, but did you say meteorology? <laughs> meteorology, yeah. Me doing my meteorology. It's mineralogy, but it's really small. <laughs> Mid <laughs> meteorology. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's mineralogy, <laughs> but it's really small for Fine. some reason. We're looking, at, we're looking at individual grains of sand. Have you seen that, though? Like, really close-up pictures of beach sand? It's just, like, tiny little seashells and shit. It's great. Yeah, it's nuts. I, I, that, it, that blows my mind. I love that. If anyone has, like, more photos of, like, uh close-up pictures of beach sand, please send them to me on Discord. I would love to see those. Or you can find it in the link to his Twitter down below. Oh yeah, you can find me uh, at IRL on fire. Uh, on oh, you Twitter. don't have to say it. It's in the description. Well, it's in the description. Well, yeah, no, I'm gonna say it. It's a call to action. It's like when people say subscribe. It's a call to action. Exactly. I demand you subscribe. <laughs> Please, subscribe. This is not a choice. Bold of you to assume you have free will in this situation. No, you are subscribing, sir. You will subscribe. Uh... Oh my god, now I'm just imagining, like, what is it, that, like, the, what is it, the boy kisser gif with the, with the spirally eyes, and he's like, you will subscribe. Didn't it turn out, like, like... PayPal me 400 US dollars. Didn't it turn out, like, the like, you know, the whole meme with Boy Kisser, didn't it turn out they're actually, like, a really terrible person? I think so, yeah. No, I don't think so. Apparently, like, transphobic or some shit like that. I don't know. I haven't heard of it. You've heard of Boy Kisser? No, I've heard of Boy Kisser, but I haven't heard of, like, the person behind it being... I know, I'm joking. Weird. I don't know. <laughs> well, of course Mike's heard of Boy Kisser. He is one. Wah, 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 uh, wah, wah, wah. Uh, uh, we really need to get a soundboard for that because all I wanted to do was having like like a like a you know that like stock sound effect of like children cheering like yay like that kinda, I that, wanted to have that well am I Just, imagining the one that plays after like you complete a night in Five Nights at Freddy's yes that exact sound effect I wanted that to play just then oh Alabama uh <laughs> <laughs> there we go. God damn you. What made that worse is that was really loud. It was. <laughs> that was, oh, that that was I didn't know how loud it was going to be. <laughs> okay, so this is... Why did you get rid of the buffer there? Put it back. Because I had to... It was slightly off. It's fine. No. Back. No, the buffer was... No, it's the rest of the track that was a problem. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, okay. Well, the buffer's back now. Okay, now Actually, I'm we, trying we to figure fit. out... Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. We could probably fit a little bit more track going on this side of the... Actually, no, wait. No, that's where the pipes are going to go, aren't they? Yes. Okay, never mind then. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out, like... Where our Ooh, approach is going to be? Someone said FNAF stream when? FNAF and Roblox stream when? Oh no. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, very funny. <laughs> so funny. Well, Alabama 1994 JLB's <laughs> back. Good for them, maybe? Someone said they'd send me a close-up picture of sand, and it's just, like, the atomic structure of silica. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Mmm, silicon. Or just what I wanted. Watch out for Fetty. Watch out for Fetty. Fetty. <laughs> Sorry, needed lunch. It's okay. You haven't missed much. Fetty. We're now at the refinery. We're at the refinery, we're, you know, we're making progress. I'm jumping around. Oh, boy. At the very least, this one doesn't need to 
to shunt as much. What do you mean it doesn't need to shunt as much? Mike... Well, track here. You can just kind of pull it back. You've got loads of space here. Oh, yeah, to unload oil. That's fine. For, yeah, for the crude oil. Yeah, I'm going to put a load of space here. Bit. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, though, how we're going to, like, approach this, because this is up a hill. There needs to be, like, some kind of, like, steady gradient somewhere. That we climb up mm. and down. Unless, you know, the devs are actual psychopaths. Yeah, also oh, talk. Could you what, throw West, in Weston Bridges said, got to go. Dinner for my dad's parents. Okay. See you. You were saying, Anyways, Mike? Yeah, yeah talk. Uh, I'm going to delete this curve here and chuck in another thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're doing what? <laughs> You're doing what? <laughs> He died? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, you poisoned? I inhaled water, which, I'll be honest, I don't advise people do. Generally, genuinely, generally, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Generally, it's not advised that you inhale water. It's. <laughs> no, it's just like. The... <laughs> <laughs> you could then, Mike. It's the comedy of you starting coughing and be like, what? And then immediately loudly coughing. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. To, like, what? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, there's a big, big old dip here. That doesn't solve our problems. What do you want? <laughs> no, it's a little more shallow over here. We're putting another switch in here so I can have a, I don't know what to call it, you know, when a, when the train needs another track to go and pick up the thing from the other way around. That thing. I'm putting a one of those in. Oh, D-Man said each lad's favorite Friends character and why. Um, I've never seen Friends. Not the biggest we, fan of Friends. D-Man, you literally asked a question and none of us I can't really know I how can't to name answer. a character. Yeah, sorry, I think there's the one added. that David Schwimmer plays, but I think he's an asshole. I've yeah. seen, like, the clips of, like, um, it's, like, Friends But No Laugh Track, and it's, like, the guy that David Schwimmer plays just looks like a, like an asshole. Oh, yeah, I love whenever they do, like, the no laugh track things, because, like, nothing hammers home how unfunny something is than removing when there's not the laugh laughs shoved there's in no, your like, face instructions to laugh yeah like this is the funny thing that just happened this is where you find the humor and it's laugh like, at the funny thing he said oh, the funny joe, thing joe light railway said a question to you guys have you watched the big bang theory why would i subject uh, myself to the big bang yeah. theory my mom was a huge Big Bang Theory. I don't know if she is still, but she was a big Big Bang Theory fan. And unfortunately, just by osmosis, I, I was subjected to Big Bang Theory. I am seeking legal recourse and compensation. <laughs> I, I've, wa I've watched a little bit of it. It's it's okay. Young Sheldon is actually, like, kind of good. He says Young Sheldon's kind of good. I'm, we gotta get rid of him. We gotta glass him. I'm, I'm okay, no, no, no. Worried. Young Sheldon is good. Only the parts that you, only the only like the parts of the show that Sheldon isn't in. Young Sheldon is good when Young Sheldon is not there. <laughs> exactly. Like, like the the beginning of the series kind of sucks because he's like a really young he's kid. He's there, and then when he's like not there, he's, he's there, there, he's there most of the time. But once once they started like actually branching out into like their own fucking like like, story and plot lines for each character, it got better just because Sheldon wasn't there as much. That's my opinion on young Sheldon. I like how this means you've watched enough of it to know, to, to like, like, oh, it gets better later, don't worry. Yeah, I have watched enough of it. I've watched up to, like, season two, and then I've seen clips of it, like, in passing. Incredible. Oh Fun fact, one of the actors for Friends refused to let the writers make his character cheat on Monica. Who's Monica? 
Oh I yeah, that's that's, that's like a else. thing. That's... Like um, I know it happened in the and... office as well, Sorry. where like the actors basically had to plead with the writers, please don't make my character cheat on their spouse, because like writing a sitcom for like eight seasons is really hard as it turns out when you don't have any like end goal or direction and so obviously people some writers are like okay well for like drama value we could say oh this character like cheats on their spouse or like oh it's implied they might be cheating or whatnot and the but it's such like a cheap cop out in writing like it's such a like an overdone trope I'm like, where do we go from here? Uh, let's make someone cheat. And the the actors were like, please don't do that. Like, yeah, because there's, like, the whole plot point of, um... Fuck, what's her name? We, we, we've gone through, like, One three that... seasons of these characters, like, falling in love and, like, figuring each other out and, like, actually turns out they're good for each other. And now you're just going to waste it because you need a plot for an episode. I, it, it, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 what is it? I, like, the sitcoms that I watched, like, actually grew up and watched were, like, all family channel, like, nonsense. So it was, like, you know, Good Luck Charlie. You're like the Disney Aunt, shit? Yes, yes. It was Good Luck Charlie. It was Jesse. It was goddamn Ant Farm. I still hate that show with a passion. I hate Ant Farm. Awful show. Genuinely terrible. Okay, so the premise is right you're in a high school because it's a disney sitcom and you're following your main character is a musical prodigy like her thing is that she can play any any instrument and sing and do all that because of course she can because it's always singing in a disney scene anyways the premise of the show is that she goes to a high school with a program which is like like uh, uh what is it it's like everyone there is like a savant at something so like you have one fucking guy. ant farm you're describing ant farm Yes, I am. It's like everyone is a savant. So you know that thing of like every character has one character trait that they are constantly doing? It is literally that, the show, which is in like... But have, turned up oh, to like 11. Yes, because that's literally like the entire premise of the show is everyone has their one quirk and that's their thing. So like you have the computer guy and he's always talking about computers and he's uh, and of course he's like larger guy so they make a million fat jokes about him and it's honestly not in very good taste. Uh, but then you have like uh, no it was this blonde character who was supposed to be like the know-it-all smart one like I'm the smart one and she was just the most annoying character you could imagine. Um, what and, it like, sounds like you're describing, Mike, and I mean this to like no offense to some people but what you are describing sounds exactly like a school for very severely autistic people i was gonna say school of autism I, yeah yeah no i, I, I here's I the one gonna, like, thing it, you really 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 are good at because you really really like it here's your fixation you will like nothing else and they are fine with that oh demon That's said gotta show. go That's gotta eat chicken show. Oh, have fun. Uh, that's have a fun very chicken. important thing to do. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to eat some chicken. Anyways. Yeah, no, I mean, there is that is kind of like the weird sort of like uh, right. uh, implication is like this is a special ed program or something like that. But of course, the show doesn't do anything with that. Mike. What? I hate to rain on your parade again. What, a, what, what happens now? So, because that way is just straight off a cliff and we'd have to like build loads of groundwork and whatnot i'm thinking what we could instead do is have this sort of like loop around oh god damn it i so... built the i built the blood <laughs> round them out <laughs> my well, <laughs> we need the approach still god damn it okay this, this is why communication <laughs> is important you need to talk before you build Oh, well. Oh, I just build. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah, no, I just build. I just go. He's, he's a Never maniac. You just can't him. stop him. You have to go. He's a maniac, maniac on the floor. Anyways, what is it? Ant Farm. I, I just, Ant Farm, I yeah. I, so... I really don't remember a single fucking thing that happened in that show besides 
that I... they did like the monster mash or something one time? They, no, they did. They did. They did. And it was awful. Yeah, they did the monster no, mash. That's it. No, no. Look, I remember so much about this show because they never stopped airing it. Like, ever. It was constant reruns every other, like, hour my, of every other day. Mike just doesn't just understand just the concept of changing TV channel. <laughs> No, okay, I had 15 channels growing up, and half of them were shit. Like, more than half of them. There were three that I watched. It was, like, Channel 25 was Family Channel, 15 was YTV, and then, like, uh, uh, those were the two big ones. Uh, Discovery Channel on 35, and that was it. That was the three channels that, like, had a program that I was interested in. Everything else was, like, news or sports or, 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 or some other thing that I can't remember. So I had three choices of television channel, and if none of them had anything that I wanted to watch on, I was screwed. So I just ended up watching far too much of this show that I just hated so much. Because there was literally nothing better on. And, like, that's why I can tell you, like, the show, it had too many seasons were given to Ant Farm. Too many seasons. Like, you know how Firefly was canceled after one season? This show got, like, five <laughs> or six seasons. It's an This injustice. show got three seasons. It's an injustice that has never been corrected and never will be. It, can we take a moment to from... really understand Mike's trauma? Where he says he feels <laughs> like Ant Farm had, what, six seasons, did you say? It only yeah. had three. That's how that's often they were repeating the episode. No, that's how so like Disney, so like Disney Channel shows, right? They, for some reason, they always have like very like short like run spans. Like this show only ran from 2011 to 2014. But the thing is, people think there's so many episodes because they just keep repeating and repeating and repeating the episodes over and over. Thanks to this exactly. amazing thing called psychological warfare. Yeah, we were literally... No, I was attacked by Ant Farm. It's like, you think there's like six seasons, but no, it only ran for three years, and they just keep airing it like fucking four years after. You know that thing they do in Guantanamo Bay, where like, the reports come out, like, they played White Snake at like, loud volume to just like, torture the inmates? This is based... This is... this oh, uh, no, Specifically White Snake. <laughs> No, literally, like, I watched, like, the John Oliver thing about Guantanamo, and they, one of the inmates named, oh, yeah, no, they played, like, Whitesnake. <laughs> that was the music that they played to... Guantanamo know. Bay is just turning into, like, a giant rock concert. Yeah, but one in which, it, like, the point is to be as antagonistic as possible to, to the inmates. Anyways, Ant Farm. Terrible, terrible, terrible. They, they got... Okay, 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 no, look, look. It was just, it was everything that is wrong with those sitcoms. It had, like, the dumbass romance plot where it's, like, the know-it-all girl and then the dumb guy it was, like, it was, like, a thing. And it was, like, oh, will they, won't they? And it's, like, oh, uh, uh, uh. It's just the worst. The most irritating character archetypes you can imagine. Like, you have the know-it-all. You've got, like, the, the, the mean girl. Like, the, the I'm pretty mean girl. Like, it's that. It's yeah, like, it's lit it's literally just a It's a it's collection just... of character character archetypes and that's it. That's well, all. We all heard it here first, folks. Mike hates autistic people. <laughs> no, no, autistic people are actually like interesting people. These are bad television characters. No, nope, it would be a more it's... interesting show if they, that if that was written in the show, the show would have been better. It would have been more interesting. This this show was just bad. It would have been a better show if that was the case, but it's not. It's, it's, I cannot, uh, uh. There was, okay, so there was 45, 45 plus 17, that's 55, and then there's about 62 episodes of this thing, of the, of this fucking, oh yeah, I'll show all the episodes had ant in the fucking like name of it. Like, oh no, do that thing. Ugh. Yeah, influences, transplanted, replicant, management, mutant farm. Uh, I hate it. 
hate it so this much. This sounds like something that I want to tar and feather. Terrible show. I, I want Terrible. to find the producers of this show and tar and feather them. Awful, awful. What are the shows where there? Uh, there was that. There was Jesse, which was marginally better, I would say, because like it, it actually like. But it, who was the lead in Jesse? Like okay, well, Jesse Debbie was, Ryan. It's Jesse Ryan. Was her name actually Jesse? It, it was no. It's like, Debbie Ryan. Debbie Ryan. That's it. I thought you were saying Jesse Ryan. No. I saw, no, I it was Jesse no that that's also a thing that Disney Channel fucking shows do. They have this main character's name just be the name of the actor. Like fucking oh, Ant Farm. The the main character's name is China, right? Her real no. name is China. Oh well, yeah, well because it makes it easier for the line reads. I guess so. It's just easier. Anyways, that Jesse was marginally better, but even still, it was like uh, it was R.I.P. About, Cameron uh, Boyce. Was I think that's the like guy that died. Guy. Oh, rip. L. Uh, anyways, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you died, fucking loser. <laughs> anyways. Okay, yeah, that's another thing. Like, the laugh tracks were just constant and terrible, but, like, at least, like, Jesse was kind of okay. Except, of course, again, they also aired it a million times. Like, the only, like, I think the only one that I would call somewhat watchable was Good Luck Charlie. That was an okay sitcom. As far as sitcoms go, I think that was a good one. Most of the cast now is tolerable, too. Like, I... I mean the the mom she's like an alt right nutcase now. Oh but, yeah, I can see how that I can see that. Yeah, yeah but I, I, I like the dad who played like the dad on the show, and then oh, it's something I think like the young the younger brother as well. They have like a podcast now or something, and they make like TikToks and shit, and they're actually like tolerable people. That's good. I'm trying to make this curve as like. Well, no, I mean, I mean, good luck, like Charlie. It did like all of the things that good sitcoms, like like do, which is like, like they have like what is it like midway through the series they introduce another child because the first child actor was getting a bit too old. So yeah. They or like they thing. move they move the fucking sets. Oh yeah. So move. like this this yeah. one's at a boarding school. It's like Ooh. fucking Wizards of Waverly Place when they went to the okay, fucking school okay. for that a few would seasons. Be a good show. That Wizards of good. Waverly Place was good. Yes. God, Selena Gomez. It could just be nostalgia, fantastic. but it was good. No, I I choose to believe that like that show was genuinely funny and good. Like Selena Gomez did a good job acting in it. Like all the supporting cast was funny. The effects could have you know been better, but it was like TV budget in like the when was that? Like two thousand uh, like a, was that like two thousand twelve, two thousand eleven? It was last year. Last year. Maybe no, it was... wasn't. It was last year, guys. <laughs> Do you know? Right? Someone said episode. Jesse basically had a sequel slash spinoff as well. Yeah, wasn't that like the camp one? But it it wasn't actually like a spinoff because some of the char- like some of the characters were in the show, but it was like not a conti- I don't fucking know. I stopped I watching Disney Channel so long ago. Yeah, I haven't. I, don't, I, I have barely watched Disney, Disney Channel Disney. growing up. There was nothing on the Disney Channel worth watching for me. With the possible exception of Phineas and Ferb. Oh yeah, that aired too. That was cool. Yeah, like, okay, like, they had all of their, like, okay programming, like, in the, in the first, like, in the morning. And then, like, after, like, 12 hits, and then it's all sitcom, and it's all shit. Like, you can pinpoint the exact moment where the programming just gets way worse. And it's oh, easy. someone mentioned Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, Phineas me. I mentioned okay. Phineas and Ferb. Controversial opinion. Phineas and Ferb is well Phineas written, Ferb was but good. I just cannot... It's so boring. I was never into it. It's so, it's like I get that the joke is that the same thing happens in every episode. Like the show knows that, but that doesn't make it better. Like yeah, it lampshades the formula, but that doesn't it, like that doesn't fix it. Being aware of the joke does not episode. make the joke yes. funny. It's still the same. It's the same episode every episode with just like different bits, and like that's it. The only part yeah, that was worth watching formula. Phineas and Ferb. Was Parry the Platypus. 
Yeah. Literally, literally the only reason I turned that shit on. It was good, but like again, it's the same show every show, and it's like, ah, uh, please put on something different. I thought it was good. It, uh, that's what I'm saying. It was good, but it was just very repetitive, and that got really boring. Dan Povenmire is also a really good guy. Oh yeah, he's the guy of he's the voice of um, Doofenshmirtz, isn't he? Yeah, he he's the guy who made the show. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what? he and um, I think like Jeff Marsh or something, like made the show. Oh yeah, no, I remember that because like, they show up in the opening credits like something marsh and then like yeah no yeah jeff swampy marsh because that's his swampy nickname marsh. that was it oh his nickname's what his swampy. nickname's swampy his swampy. last name's marsh that's why jeff oh marsh, swampy so i thought you said swampy for a moment i'm like what the swampy, swampy. <laughs> i was like what the hell kind of name is that <laughs> they, they call me swampy i just can't stop swamping i get up I start swamping. <laughs> I start <laughs> swamping everywhere. I'm swamping. I just can't oh, yeah, go they... a single day without swamping. <laughs> I'm gonna swamp. <laughs> they this also is had turning a into a disgusting innuendo. Aren't I? They also had a spin-off, which was like in the same universe. It was like oh, yeah, Milo Murphy. Murphy's Law. I I, I didn't watch yeah, that one, but I heard it was good because it has Weird Al as the fucking voice of like the main guy. Oh, okay. I love Weird Al. Yeah, he's he, Weird Al is great. I, I've never been like big, big into his music, but I, I, I do respect love, him. I greatly oh, respect him. I, what I love as well is, like nine times out of ten, like before he parodied a song, he would usually ask permission from the artist to say, "Hey, is it cool if I parody this?" But every now yeah. and then. I don't think he asked permission, and I think, like, I, I think it was um, Amish Paradise. After that came out, Coolio was not happy with it. <laughs> or there was that time um, I can't remember what award show it was, but Weird Al showed up and he had the exact same hairstyle as Coolio, <laughs> like with like the wild braids and everything. He's also like. I'm pretty sure he's, like, vegan and, like, extremely Christian as well. Oh, yeah, I re I've read up on that, and it was, like, um... Really? He's... I can't... I don't know what school of Christianity it is. Um... But he's part of it, and it it's the reason why, in his songs, he's he doesn't swear in any of them. Like, yeah. I think, like, there's one or two jokes where it's implied, but, like, nine times out of ten, he does not actively swear in his music. I don't think he, he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. Well, I don't know about that last part, but, you know. He, just genuinely, like, an all-round decent guy. Interesting. Oh, hey, look, breaking news just in. Weird Al turns out to be an absolute monster all along. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Oh, well, <laughs> it just hit the... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. hits the airwaves? The presses? What? This is live television. Mike, yeah, this this isn't. We don't. We don't. YouTube. What's that? This is TV. Who do you think we are? Like D-list internet personalities? Oh, lever in the track. Lever in the track. Lever in the track. Oh, I see it. Yeah, lever in the track. Guys, there's a, there's, there's a lever, lever in the, the track. track. Point at it. Laugh at lever it. in the track. Pointing at it. You can't see my screen, but I am pointing at it. Someone said breaking news. He's on the list. Don't tell me he's on the list. Oh, he can't be. I don't want to believe it. Well, and just don't. That's the magic of this day and age, is because you don't know what's true and what's false. You can just refuse to believe anything. Exactly. You just true. stick. You just stick your head in the sand, and everything will turn out fine. Let me Google really, this. We live in a good era, anyway. I wouldn't describe anything about the era in which we currently live as good. Well, you know, there's hot pockets. Yeah. Guys, how bad can this whole world really be? We have Hot Pockets. <laughs> like, it, that, come on, guys. 
pain, war, genocide. We got hot pockets. That meme was like pain, war, genocide. No. Someone said I thought his name was Weird AI, and he was an AI. Yeah, for a while I thought it was AI, and like this was like years ago when I first heard of him. I thought it was AI, and because both letters were capitalized. But no, it is weird out. God, aren't okay. fonts annoying? Yeah, <laughs> we love fonts. Why can't I connect the rail to this thingy? Guys, what's your favorite font? Uh, the TF2 font. I like. Of course uh, it is. <laughs> I uh, I'm split between Futura and Copperplate. I like Lobster. Very fancy. Oh yeah. Cannot. People out there saying Times New Roman. If you said Times New Roman, you are like. You are... Black, Times New Roman, not Comic Sans. Korea New? Of course, somebody said Wingdings. Minecraft font. You, you can't Claridon. read Wingdings, though, can you? No, like, you can't. That's can. the point. We... The point of Wingdings is that it's not really a font, you know? It's an idea. You cannot kill an idea. <laughs> it's just for the symbols. Exactly. It's a symbol. Comic Sans gets a bad rap due to being used in context it wasn't really suitable for. It's, it's actually a pretty good font. Not my fave, but it doesn't deserve the hate. Yeah, Comic Sans... What's really funny is that, like, at my job, the, uh, the POS system, it uses Comic Sans, which is always funny... You just boot up. Yeah. You just boot up the PC to start your day of work and immediately just burst into laughter. There's the what is it? The posters on my campus is like uh, campus patrol are happening in the area and they're all written in Comic Sans. <laughs> the thing is though, with Comic Sans, is it supposed to be like easier to read and like read it's, back? It's supposed to look like it's. It was meant to look like comic book writing, like the writing in the speech bubbles. Well, it, I mean, well, it, it does a terrible job of that. It looks nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not very good at it, but that's where the name Comic Sans come from. Yeah. Comic Sans Serif. Well, it's also really easy to read. Like, it is a, oh, it is a really good, like, font for not having much kerning. I will say, for a while, I, um... I genuinely would. Like, I'd write out a script, and then when I came time to, you know, read it for a video... I would just change the font quickly to Comic Sans, and it would... Honestly, it, it didn't make much difference, but it did help sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I usually, uh, what is it? I, I, I used to, like, write my papers in Arial, and then switch it to Comic Sans, but then I, I just started submitting in <laughs> Arial, and nobody cared. Why would you switch it to Comic Sans? Why would oh, you no, submit I, I it in Comic Sans? <laughs> I meant Times New Roman, because, like... Oh. like <laughs> oh, you wrote it in Comic Sans and then switched it. No, I wrote it in Arial and switched it to Comic Sans before submitting my assignment. <laughs> Comic Sans with a rainbow background. Yeah. Another question to Graphic everyone. Design which is, is the best passion. or worst Star Wars movie? Um, I've what? never watched Star Wars. I've only ever watched mm -hmm. um The Force Awakens. I've watched like half an hour of it on an airplane where I couldn't hear anything so I don't know what went on I haven't seen any Star Wars um, I have I have seen like five minutes of didn't that I give you the before. fucking VHS's of the first three Star Wars movies I did, and I haven't gotten around to watching them yet that was five years ago like I said I haven't gotten around to watching them yet <laughs> What I was gonna say though was, I'm I've just seen, busy. Like, five, I've seen five minutes of like that Star Wars short with the rabbit, and that's about it. <laughs> that's all the Star Wars I've seen. Of course, it would be the one short film with the goddamn rabbit. Yes, it's a cute little rabbit. What, I'm not made of stone. Someone said Episode Eight seems to be the most hated. I don't know what that is. Episode Which eight, one's that, Episode Eight? That's uh, I think that's the Last Jedi. Which, The Last Jedi has been a sore point for, like, so many Star Wars fans for so Is that, long. like, the new stuff? That's the new stuff. Oh. Because the original trilogy was 4, 5, and 6, the prequels was 1, 2, and 3, and then there was the Disney sequels, which was uh, 7, 8, and 9. 
Todd? What the hell is going what on? What about, like, the Where fucking, like, Han going? Solo movie? What is that? Oh my also, God, aren't they still really making... Don't, no, don't bring up the... Time. Aren't they still making st Star Wars movies? Let's see. Baby Yoda. I okay, the movies, it only says the... It only says A New Hope, Emperor Sh The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. That's the only Star Wars movies. Those are the only ones. You heard it here first. Yeah. Google mm -hmm. said that. Was it Google that said that? Google said that. Google I said searched that. Star Wars. I searched Star Wars movies. Disney, if and you're watching, you might want to get on to uh, suing Google for uh, not promoting your shit. It's yeah, because they, they have fucking like they have like the fucking like shows going on now, like Mandalorian and stuff. Here's the it's thing. Only Star I... Wars. It comes from the Star Wars region of France. Otherwise, it's just sparkling Star Trek. True. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I'm with Mike. I fucking hate the whole like Grogu Baby Yoda thing, because I know at some point someone in mark in like Disney's marketing saw yeah, like no, it was the, the saw the adorable the baby. It was just like, oh yeah, we can market this shit. They were like, oh yeah, I can see the plushies now, and I'm like, yeah get the market they had they had deals with like hasbro before they even finished filming like they they went into the script and was like okay we need you to add a little a little yoda guy uh, here's hasbro, the thing though. hasbro needs to pump this quarter we need to add the yoda guy here's the thing hasbro though like the mandalorian is a genuinely great show though like i is it i, I know right you, sure, you can take this as maybe biased, as I have been, like, you know, I am a bit of a Star Wars fan. But, like, genuinely, you don't have to have much of an understanding of the greater Star Wars universe to, like, sit down, watch it, and enjoy it. It's, like, all very self-contained. It's, like, it plays by its own rules. And, like, if ever something happens and it's like, oh, a Jedi has showed up, like, even the main character is like, the hell's a Jedi? <laughs> like bro li bro literally is raised in a cult in a fighting cult <laughs> I'm not kidding you that's literally the Mandalorian religion I love it that's kind of dope I don't know I've just never been really interested in Star Wars that that's fine you're more of a Star Trek guy anyway I am I love Star Trek and I it's love new the new sort of stuff that you're doing i think i think except picard okay like the strange new worlds is really good uh what is it lower decks is also really good picard is not very good i was never into star wars or star trek or anything like that you just like star, yeah, just he, just star. he just looks up the sky yeah. at the sky and that's enough for him yeah <laughs> that's all you need I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Uh... I was always more. I was always just really into Pokemon as a kid. Real. And that's just what I hyperfixated on. Oh, fell off the cliff. That's that's your ant farm thing. If you were an ant yeah. farm into Pokemon. If I was in ant farm, I'd just be um, really into Pokemon. That's your only character. Like your only character trait as well is you'd only be, you'd yeah. only. Michael, be what, what would what would your ant farm trait be? We're not going to call it uh, autism anymore. <laughs> the, neuro <laughs> neurodivergence. Nah, it's what's your ant farm trait? What's your, what's your ant farm trait? Uh, uh, I'd like to think it would be drawing or like something art related, but I, but that would just get insufferable. Drawing, like so um, like so show. every, every um, every year for Christmas, you always get those uh, like those art things, it's just those little art no, kits. Because no, I recently had a Christmas, uh, and we all really? recently had Me a Christmas, too. Mike. <laughs> it kind of happens at the end of the year. It does for me anyway. I don't know about you. I uh, uh I have this one aunt who who owns a skidoo shop. And they keep and giving farm? me uh, jackets that are from their Skidoo shop, and they have like the FXR logo on them. A what and shop? I don't want a Skidoo shop. Snowmobile. Oh. 
Skidoo is is a brand of snowmobiles. It's basically like the the whole like fucking like Kleenex brand thing with I tissues. Think. It's yeah, like band aid. It's like that. But the thing is, I've I only don't really think seen I've ever the refer to a tissue as a Kleenex. Me neither. Kleenexes just aren't fucking like a thing in Canada. Yeah, no, no I don't we, really see them. We have, I, we might have Kleenexes as a brand, but like we, I've never referred to a yeah, tissue. Yeah, me neither. It's just a brand. tissue. Well, like. Q-tips are Q-tips, right? Band-aids are band-aids. Yeah, I get it. You might call them plasters, I don't know. Oh yeah, we call them plasters, plasters. Yeah, we call them band-aids. But like, I've only really noticed it in Newfoundland, where people call snowmobile skidoos. Really? Yeah. Like, out here, people call them snowmobiles. Huh. It's odd. Like, first when I came out here, it's odd. Because, like... People would be like, oh, you, you're on your snowmobile, huh? You got a snowmobile? No. Snowmobile? Got a skidoo. I they talk slower because they're mainlanders. Oh, yeah. Snowmobile. Do you have a snowmobile? It's like, boy, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Yeah, but only really noticed that brand generization, whatever it is, in Newfoundland. Interesting. Anyways. <laughs> I have this aunt who works at a skidoo shop. And she owns the skidoo shop, and she keeps giving me FXR jackets. Every well, I guess it's Christmas. it's cheap for her. That's no, that's what I'm saying. My theory is that she can give me the jacket and then write it off as like shrinkage in her inventory. Probably that'll be that. <laughs> I mean, I keep... if you could, you would, right? She she's been giving me these jackets for multiple years in a row. Does she think I'm like wearing through jackets like a year? Like and these are like Star substantial jacket, jacket black by market. Way. Start selling. They're them. not. They're not. Well, that's kind of. Well, we just salvate. We just donate them to the Salvation Army or just give them to people. I'm but asking, like, not Salvation Army. You don't wear them. No, because I have too many. Quick, clip this <laughs> and send it to Mike's arms. Do not encourage people to try and dox me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, don't, don't dox him. Bad. Don't like reveal his like you know name and identity and shit. Just find his arms and send it to him. Don't do that either. That's not good. <laughs> anyway. Train of thought. Proud and sources of harassment. <laughs> <laughs> My point being, it's just they're, they're good jackets. Like they're they're decent, like proper jackets. It's just that I've been getting them for multiple years. And someone in a row, said and I don't maybe she just them thinks them. the jackets are terrible quality and need replacing that often. Well, no. Well, that's the thing. Why would you they're, order they're, in terrible jackets as stock, though? They're the same stock. So people come back and buy them. Oh. Oh, it's the uh, what? The what is the it? The, Sam, the shaving blade. Uh, I was about to say it's the Sam Vine. Uh, theory, boot Sam theory of economics. Yeah, where if um, if you can only afford shitty boots, you're just going to be buying shitty boots forever. If you can afford oh, good boots, true. you're going to be spending less money than the people who buy shitty boots. Oh, yeah, no, yep, I've heard that before now. Now I get it. That's probably, that's literally Honestly, why that companies surprising. sell low quality things. Well, it's like, um, what is it? Uh, Dollar General in in America. I, yep. I watched that like Wendover production video about Dollar General, and I came away with like a violent rage to destroy Dollar General in any way that I can. Just, it's so much just garbage plastic. It's so it's like, so Dollar much just Dollar garbage Dollar shit. Dollar General is an evil corporation and it, should be destroyed. You say like, you it's go, an evil you corporation, like there's any other kind, my dude. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Here at Train of Thought, we're all communists. People are saying planned ob obs obsolescence. Ob no, that's not. It's not. It's not even planned it's obsolescence planned either, obsolescence. because it's planned just... obsolescence is basically like you're buying something expensive, and they're going to di because there's no like official support for a snowman like a like a fucking little snowman to, like decoration. It's not planned obsolescence, it's just making shitty quality stuff for it to be shitty quality and people having to buy more and more and more. 
it's like what is it uh dollar general they stock like like one liter bottles of detergents instead of like the two liter stuff yeah. You know what I mean? So you can't get that discount like of buying in bulk. You have to keep buying these shitty tiny little bottles of detergent from Dollar General. Because that's time. all that you can afford. Exactly. If you're po- it, it's really expensive to be poor because you can only afford so much at a time you can't buy in bulk. Buying in bulk always saves money. If you're smart with if you're smart with usage because I mean, buying in bulk the... oh yeah you go ahead it, it, yeah buying in bulk it's also like if you're smart with the usage of buying in bulk because it could be like oh i could buy um i could buy like two and ener- i could buy two red bulls for five dollars or i can buy 12 red bulls for like sixteen dollars and th- and that's really good but at the same time if you're like oh i have 12 red bulls so let me just give some to my brother let's give some like to my mom like and then you have less and less for yourself so in reality by the time you're actually drinking those red bulls you're spending more money on other people and the savings doesn't matter anyways because you're you're just going to go back 2 days later because you're out of red bulls what why what is, okay, why, why does I feel like you're missing the point of buying in bulk here, buddy. <laughs> I don't understand. What? No, 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 no. That's how, that's how people buy in bulk, but wrong. Because oh, they'll, be, they'll so... be like, oh, I have so much of this stuff that, like, I can afford to give it to people. I can afford people to... People are wrong for sharing their things. Like, I can, I can share this stuff. I can, like, do whatever I want with this. Because, oh, I have so much, I'm never going to run out. But then they run out. And then they're going to have to be spending more. Or they consume more of the product. River, because if, they have more. If I lend you something, it's not under the assumption that it's like never going to run out. If I give you a Red Bull, I know it's gonna, I'm going to run out of Red Bull eventually. I'm giving you a Red Bull because I want to give you a Red Bull. No, no, no. That's... I don't think you're understanding what I'm trying to say, though. I'm not understanding. You. I don't think no, anyone, because, okay. anyone in chat understand what this guy's trying to say? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm saying, okay. You're it's talking the... about like if you if you have a lot of something at once, you perceive that you have more of it, and yes. therefore you're like, it's like more the over cons- using it. Okay, let's go with oh, this. No. Let's it's go like with this. Detergent. You have it's like, you have it? rations. You have, I have like when you buy a full okay of detergent, detergent, you'll probably put like more detergent in the first load because you're like yeah oh, yeah I can get my clothes really clean and I'll just put in like yeah just a bit more detergent. Who cares? Yes, exactly that. I think my Red Bull point was was missing the red bull was confusing but like when you frame yes. it as like detergent okay like laundry you detergent how much you use you buy like a giant bottle so you're like oh the first few loads you're gonna be like oh i can use more i can use a little bit more now because it's gonna make my clothes extra clean when in reality it's not you're it's just like gonna be over consuming that product that you bought for yourself in bulk yeah. and then you're going to run out of it at the same rate as you are buying the smaller amount exactly so you have to be wise with how with what you're using with the like actual bulk quantity of it exactly because it's not just oh buy in bulk and all your problems are solved you have to be mindful of how you use the product as well i think like 10 people have left the stream since we started talking about (laughs) (laughs) at 12 well the uh 12 people won't know how to save money Good luck yeah. saving money on oh. your laundry detergent now, losers. One, 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 one person, Lawrence Fraser, said, Yes, if you buy in bulk but then increase consumption, be it by giving away or just using irresponsibly, you're not coming out ahead compared to only buying what you need to start with. There, that entire that, like yeah. past 15 minutes could be <laughs> summed up in just 10 <laughs> words. <laughs> I was just oh, gonna... and someone said, or buying things in bulk because they're cheap that way. Except the things that, except they're things that if they weren't discounted, you wouldn't buy them to start with. Exactly. Oh yeah. Like you could be only drinking water all the time, and then it's like, oh shit, a fucking case of, uh, Fanta's on sale. I'm gonna buy the case of Fanta because it's on sale. 
You don't need Fanta. You just need water. Oh, you may be taught train of thought, but I am T O T T. Joseph train on the track. Make a comeback that'll make Wendy's Twitter account want to take notes. I haven't heard of Wendy's Twitter account that, in years. That yeah, like I think the comeback for that is just who the fuck references the Wendy's Twitter account now? Wendy's is they've come and gone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. Mike, did God, you make a Wendy's that. Nuts joke? Oh, uh, Wendy's Nuts? <sighs> Thank you. Because you just went quiet for a moment and I just heard the hysterical laughter coming from your... Oh God, we, you, enjoyer said, Why buy big thing when small thing do trick? And that's the how the that poor stay poor. The, Wii U, the thing that is bigger than the Wii. I... Uh, debate me. Michael Shapiro on, on this. Mention that name again. Bulk. You are never <laughs> appearing on one of my streams. You under, do you understand? As far as you have to throw it out. We don't have that problem with milk. Mention the name Shapiro again, and I will boil you yeah, alive. Michael definitely doesn't have a problem with um buying too much milk. Nope. Okay. Look, I drink. Can you can you tell the story about how? You bought a lot of milk. Weren't we play? Oh yeah, weren't you playing D and D or something with some yeah. folks, and you were just oh, yeah, drinking okay. like a jug of milk. So, so, so this was like I think last year. I I had a D and D group. It was with a bunch of friends. We we went over to their place. They they don't drink a lot of milk, so they don't have any in the house. And I wanted to drink milk because I like it. So, what I did was. Before going over to D and D, I went to the store and I bought a two-liter carton of milk. Uh, and then, uh, uh, over the course of I think uh, two or three or four hours, it, it was definitely like closer to four four hours or so. I had finished that entire carton of milk. Two liters. Two liters. Man's the milk fiend. Two liters in about four. Four four and a half hours. Someone said I've learned more about economics in the last fifteen minutes than I did in my entire high school ec economics class. <laughs> Welcome to Train of Thought, folks. Yeah, we teach you things. We're educational. I would say I don't take any of my advice seriously, uh, because I I have no qualifications. I went to high school. That's it. But but you paid attention is the difference. I've I've paid attention. Also, I feel like some of these things are just common sense. At at yeah, some point, it, and then you'll get it. Oh, we got no bloody no one's got bloody common sense these days. No, a lot of okay, a lot of people don't have like a like common sense, like just common smarts. I wouldn't say that. I feel like like it's it's just like. I, I don't know. It's just like, uh, like, like a lot of people don't have intuition, you know. That that might be a good word. Like people don't have as much intuition. Like yeah, people, people should have more of that. They don't have the right to... amount of hot spot. Why? Like, that... why do you think there's instructions for absolutely everything? You know. Because they gotta be there. Because otherwise, like fucking, like tapping a card, like tapping I a see debit trees card. <laughs> No, no, this is the one thing that I'm gonna, like, be fully, like, it, like, every, nobody has common sense. I worked in a gas station over one summer. Like, the amount of people who couldn't figure out how to use tap on their debit card. Yes! Yes! It's literally, you hold it over the reader and it beeps, and that's it. And I don't understand how people can't figure that out sometimes. Yeah, like, um... Yeah, but this yeah, is like... just us airing the grievances of working in customer service. Yeah, people, oh, people yeah. fucking like. Oh, I set up my, I set up my phone so I can pay with Apple Pay, but I don't know how to do it. Um, so how did you it literally it tells you how to do it, like first when I you set it up. Oh, but I didn't read the instructions. Why didn't you read the instructions? If you don't know how to do it, why are you telling me this? Or like, I've had some people, like I work in customer service. I had some people literally like go up 
go up to me and hand me their card so they second, so lads. I can do it. Hold on a sec, lads. Come to me. Yeah. What? We're about to make history. Oh, have we done? Come to me. As soon as I put this piece together... Where the fuck are you? Check me up. Um, look on the map. You'll find me. Dab me up. I'm, I'm flashing my light. As soon as I put this piece here... Where's Mike? Will we be done with the railway? That means... Every... Oh, I Every facility would have been connected. Ooh. Are we ready for this historic moment? Stop cutting down trees! Put them out of the way! You're gonna be able to see. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. yep. Let's go. Da da! Yay! River, hit the effect. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> you Fucking clown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, back to my tangent. So I've had Fucking some people fantastic. hand me their debit card so I can do the transaction for them. They'll tell me their PIN number and hand me their debit card oh, and no. be like, can you do it? Yeah, but you and then I look Canadian. at them. You're too polite to steal. I take it, I tap it, and it works. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, that's a feature. It and they're like, I didn't know that. Like, well, now you do. Right, we've now connected the ironworks to the refinery. We've connected the oil field to the refinery. And by extension, the ironworks to the refinery, which is the really I important so. connection. Right. I think, to ready. celebrate, should we take Betsy all across the yes. line? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. I was gonna say Betsy is slow, but like, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, why like, I'll, we'll we'll hook why up a caboose. A... Oh yeah. Why is there a church in Train Jail? What? Um. There's a church in Train Jail. What do you mean there's a church in Train Jail? Someone's put a church in the Train Jail. <laughs> what the? What? <laughs> that wasn't there when we left. Where did what? this come from? I did some mining off camera. <laughs> <laughs> why did you why did you put a church of all things here uh so they can go to church to learn from learn Jesus. their sins to learn their sins yep <laughs> what they were. take take me to church train church <laughs> take me to church hold on we need to we need to move milfs ah don't we all <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellers. It's gonna be monumental. Does Betsy have any fire in her? Yeah, she's at ninety-seven percent. He literally said, "Railroad, you all need Jesus." Bibs too. Hold on, before you move, Betsy, I'm. Stop bet! I'm I'm in the woo. Stop bet! Stop! You you made. I think she's really easy to move. Hit it forward. Oh, you maniac! Uh, we need to take a guy as well. Oh, okay. Oh, we can do that. We need, we'll, take we'll, the, we'll, we'll take the number ten. We'll take Charles. The friend. Okay. Well, get out. Get out. Get. Gotta move what, what's the water looking like? We should probably fill it up with water first. Oh yeah, we should probably like refill the the wood and everything too. All right. Wood. Back her up. Uh, One side oh, of me. she hit something. Oh, she hit the um. Oh, okay. those those points because if they're not set right, they will just absolutely ruin your life. Yep, she's derailed. Betsy's not been outside of the shed a minute and it's already derailed. We're doing a good job here. Oh, boy. Oh, this is where you pick up the fuel. I see. Are you re-railing Betsy? Yeah. There we are. Trying. There we go. Okay, bring her, bring her forward. We'll load her with fuel. We'll attach the caboose. 
you for everything. And we'll head to the to the end of the line. To the end of the line. Oh shit! No, I'm trying to place. Why won't it place? The Although, thing? if there are trees in the middle of the track, I will chastise you. No, oh, I cut them all. I'll take. I it will get, leave your pay. I don't get paid. You won't get that ten, those ten V bucks, then, will you? Oh shit! I need the, my ten V bucks. Yeah, your ten V bucks. D man's got, back. Uh, v How was the chicken? D man's back. Oh yeah. Yeah, the That's demon's like, back. Man, it's been ages. D man, the D man. Yuck! 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 I don't know where you been, man. It's like the opening for that. Weed Someone or said. Mike and River derailed TOT girlfriend. LOL. Yeah, sorry, mate. I derailed your girlfriend. I think they're talking about Betsy. Yeah, they're talking <laughs> about Betsy. Because do you not remember? Because it's part of Train of Thought lore that I took Betsy on a date. And oh, was, yeah, true. And, like, one of the worst. Did you go swimmingly? Like, one of the worst streams I've ever done. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, you dated a fake train. It's not even a real train, dude. Oh, I didn't get that perfect first try. Oh, yeah. Oh, the water is not going up. Never mind, it is. It's just really slow. It goes by a hundred at a time. It, it takes a while. Just give it a moment. Alright, you gotta... No. No. <laughs> what do you mean, nah? -uh? Uh -huh. Is she filled? Uh, yep. Turn it off. I'm trying. I think this little fucker is up. To oh, that's you. I wasn't touching it. Yeah, you were. I was I like, fuck. You can watch my point of view later. You'll see I wasn't. I don't believe you. Well, okay, bye. Okay, and then once you pass these points, stop. You can still run faster than Betsy. Stop. Brakes. Hold on. Switch in the reverser. Trucker forwards. Okay, you do don't you don't want to be moving very quickly. You just just slow and steady will do it. I wanted to do like that cool what is it skid thing that I did. You. Oh, you you're coming in a little hot there, buddy. You're coming in a little hot. It's fine. Brakes on. Go. Hit it. And on Z. And away we go. Oh, wait. Can we still actually run faster in the train? Yeah. Oh, my God. Tot. Ghost ride the whip. Ghost ride the whip. It's fine. It's fine. It's literally slower. You can I... run all you like then. I'm riding with Betsy. I'm glad that the devs up the movement speed, but it is kind of broken. It feels wrong that you can run faster than most of the trains now, it seems. Oh, D-Man said, whatever happened to getting a useless snowplow called Andrew Tate? I... He was... He was so useless, he died. Yeah. He was so useless, um... He just dead. He just... He just vanished. He, he was so ugly, he died. You'll be pleased to know that, uh, it's in a Romanian jail. Yeah. Ain't this beautiful? It is. The sun low in the sky. Actually, you know what? One sec, let me... Uh... There we are. That should leave the sun where it is. I 
think I set the daytime to like seven million seconds. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna stay twilight for a while. TOT controls the sun. You bet I do. So, Jello, is that TOT is on a date? Yeah, we're just tagging along. Moving right along. Moving right along in search of good times and good moods. With good friends you can't lose, this could become a habit. Opportunity, it's when so we shout and grab it. Together we'll nab it. Uh, will these points be set in the correct direction? That is the question. <laughs> I'll see. We want to go yeah. right. Well, they're not set right, so... Why do you run like the Flash? Like, you move so quick, but your, like, running animation <laughs> doesn't sync up. Like, you're running slightly slower than you're moving. <laughs> so you know how, like, the Flash just sort of runs and skids along the floor? Yeah. Does Mike... Oh, Thomas Liptak! Does Mike or Delta like Halo or Mass Effect? I've played... That one free Halo game, and Halo, that's it. Halo Infinite. Never played Mass Effect. Uh, Halo, Halo Infinite. Halo I played Mass that Effect. one. I don't know anything about Halo or Mass Effect. Something I've I'd like it to do at some point is play Halo Reach with you guys. Because you can play multiplayer in the campaign. So it's like... <laughs> so it's like, oh yeah, this team of six, like, Spartans, this crack team, suddenly turns into, like, twelve... <laughs> but what's great about it as well is I think you can have up to 16 additional players playing <laughs> playing the campaign so like the story missions as well so it's just amazing it's just so stupid I feel bad because like most of the, a lot of the questions we get is like, hey, what do you guys think of this thing? And the answer is just like, I don't know that thing. I don't. Like we yeah. don't, either we don't know, we don't care, or we hate it. Or we care immensely. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Or we, we care way too much about it. There's no in between. Yeah, it's usually how it goes. If, if anything, while we're uh, while we're rolling around here, now's a good time to actually ask questions. Yeah, sure. Any questions you guys have? Tell us something. Throw, throw them our way. Speak to us. Does T.O.T. like to drive his lady locomotive in real life railroad? I don't live anywhere near a heritage railway Never mind a heritage railway that has a porter, an American porter locomotive. I wouldn't mind uh, giving someone it a asked why Yon don't find the hang car. Why? Why would we want the hang car? I don't know. It moves real quick. I think it moves quicker than this. But like, why would we want it? Uh, someone asked, "Do any of you do the Yonky Splunky?" Uh, occasionally, yeah. Sometimes. The brakes are off in this caboose as well, which is like the weird part. I think yeah, uh, I, this train is slow, dude. I, I told you. Hey, we're riding in Betsy because this is the engine we Why? start with. This is the right way to celebrate the fact we've completed the railroad. RK asks, when are you going to get the funding for top valve gear? Uh, when D Man gives us it. D Man is just our producer. So it's like <laughs> yeah. what, whatever money he gives us, that's what we're flying with. <laughs> like, yes, Joseph train on the track. We have completed the railroad. We 
have, uh, what is it? Uh, D-Man Official asks, can we get a few minutes of River Hyper fixating on Pokemon? That would be cool. You're putting me on the spot. What am I supposed to do? Uh, uh talk about, um, I it's don't know, some of it's the like, shit that it's like saying, Gen 1. Oh, what's your interest? And you say, oh, it's this. And say, oh, tell me something about it. There's millions of facets you can tell that person about. Hyper fixate. Yeah. What the fuck uh, do you mean, hyperfixate? <laughs> I mean, I recently bought a, uh, a Quagsire hand puppet. That's fun. Hyperfixate on well, Quagsire or whatever the fuck it was called. I don't know, he's cool. Currently, that, I have the puppet on my hand. Wasn't that one of the characters from Family Guy? Yeah, Quagsire. Quagsire. River, talking about your opinion, what, uh, um... Talking about your opinion on the Scarlet and Violet DLC. So, I've only played the Teal Mask. I haven't played Indigo Disc because I haven't completed Indigo... I haven't completed Teal Mask. And I haven't completed uh, the main story. Um, so, it's okay. From what I've seen, it's pretty cool. Um, back in Unova, you know? I can't wait until um, we get Unova Remix again. Um, that's about it. Uh, question for the guys. Where is the hand car? And Mike, which engine is the hottest? Uh, to answer the hand car question... As for the engine question, uh... I know rotary engines tend to have a lot of heating and cooling issues because, of, like, it's uneven, sort of, like, it's a single piece of cast metal they make the rotary engine out of, and, like, it's, a uh, you have the, uh, what is it, the explosions happening on one side of this solid piece of metal, so it heats unevenly, and that causes, like, cracking and wear, and, I mean, that's just one of the reasons why rotary engines don't work very well in the long run. They make a lot of torque, and, they, you know, they're good for power, but, like, the seals wear out, so, uh... Yeah, yeah, I think rotary engines tend to run pretty hot. They have heating issues. Uh, someone said... Hello, boys, what's up? Nothing much. Uh, yeah. uh, Hi, dog. Hey. We've, just Iron completed, uh, we've completed the line on Railroads Online. We yeah. still have a little ways to go. We still need to buy some box cars, and we still need to actually make uh, some fuel and make some oil, but, you know, it's... Doing good? Uh, someone asked, what's your guys' opinions on feathered dinosaurs? I mean, it makes sense, right? I like They're them. pretty cool, I yeah. I like them a bunch. It's yeah, always interesting, like, looking at dinosaurs and, like, trying to figure out what they actually look like. Because it's the, you know, it's the thing where no one really understands what things look like until they're alive. Because if you look at oh, the yeah. skull of, like, a hippopotamus, and I, you, if I pulled that out and said, oh, this is, like, the model of a, like, a potential, like, alien carnivore, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that checks out, and then you look at a hippo and it's like, bro, what? That's got that skull? I was about to mention, like, uh, there was, like, a thing where they took, like, the ele like the skulls and skeletons of, like, animals and reconstructed them the same way they do with dinosaurs. Like, if you tried to reconstruct an elephant that way, you'd miss out on the trunk and, like, the ears and, like, pretty much everything that we know about elephants. Yeah, because they do the, they do, like, the skin-tight, um, like, things on the bones. Yeah. It's just muscle and bone. Yeah. I still, um... I still love the theory of the Spinosaurus. I don't know if you've ever seen, like, pictures of, like, wildebeest. Or, like, the skeleton of, like, a water buffalo. They've got, like, along the spot, you know they've got, like, the big sort of hump on their back? Like, across, yeah. like, where their proverbial shoulders would be. They've got, like, the sort of large muscle there. If you look at the skeleton, along there, that's not the line where the spine is. The spine is further, like, deeper in the body, but there's, like, a level of spines, if you will, like, you'd find on, like, a Spinosaurus, like, tall, thin bones going across the back of the spine. And surrounding it is all this muscle. So, if all of these thin bones sticking out the back of the spine are there 
to be surrounded by muscle to improve its strength. Imagine a Spinosaurus with how long those spines are. Imagine if those were surrounded by muscle. That would it just an absolute brick of a creature. Incredible. That would be something. Uh, was it? D-Man asks, uh, the boy's thoughts on the door coming off of that plane midair. I'm really funny. That is, that is <laughs> funny, actually. Really funny. That, uh, just like, it, it's off, fucking right. insane, though, that the two people that were supposed to be sitting there just weren't sitting there. And the fucking iPhone that was, like, flung out of the plane still worked. And it was found, like, two kilometers, like, like, where the where the plane actually like fucking the door came off. I didn't know they it's found fucking the crazy. Yeah, they found the they iPhone. Even, they didn't even lose the iPhone. That's fantastic. Yeah, they fucking found it. Love it that. was it was like some sort of case. I forget which company the case was. I think it's like Spygen. I think I think I have I do have a Spygen case. Spigen, I don't know what the fuck it is. But it was like wearing one of those cases and like I'm pretty sure the company was like yeah, they're getting free cases for life. Yep. Like, that's such good advertising. That's good. But no, imagine being in a plane, just the door fall off. Like, that's... Just... Yeah, because it was... I, I think I read where it was, like, um... The plane, like, actually just was a lower model for the... Um, for the airline, where there was supposed to be an emergency exit there, but for, like... Some of the lower model planes, they just don't have them. It's like an extra feature or something. So they put in these, like... They put in these doors, like, that's just slotted in. That's just a piece of the... Like, the side. So it's not... It wasn't actually a door. Right? Oh. It's like a Ryanair flight. If you... It, you have to pay extra an for the seat. You have to pay extra <laughs> for the safety features. Yeah, basically they didn't pay extra for the safety feature of uh, uh, what is it, Ryan an Air extra Flight? exit door, so they just put a filler in there, and the filler fell out. Now I'm just thinking about like Ryanair flights where you have to put like a little coin in a thing just to like unlock your seat cushion in the event for water <laughs> landing. Uh, what is to it? get like the little air mask that comes down, you need to pay about five bucks. It's like a little sort of like vending machine, and it like gives you like ten yeah. oxygen for like tw for like a dollar, and it's just like motherfucker, you got a loony on ya? <laughs> hey buddy, you got a quarter? Why? I don't get. No, go away, B bro. Like, I, like, I will literally quarter. die. I, I need my oh, yeah, oxygen mask. The, quarter the in cabin is register. the cabin is depressurizing. <laughs> uh, so Speaking so of better. depressurizing. We're here. Yep, we depressurized. Yep. Uh, someone says, question for Mike, what is your opinion on the uprise of online independent animation? I think it's cool. I think it's wild that, like, these... Um, I, I was about to say, are we going to turn off the train before we hit that buffer oh, stop? And... Bonk. Hey! Oh, there we are. We the made it, fellas. Finished. We here made it. Is. So it took us like, celebrate. It took us six months. Six months. Mm -hmm. Actually, hold on. Let me let me check that. When did when did we first stream? I'm just gonna crack open my phone right now. Oh, that was the seven. Crack was it still open. Still talking about the uh, airplane. That was the 737 Max. That's the same plane. Oh no. I don't think there's been like a more troubled plane since the DC-10. Like, like I mean, like a big airliner, like big plane Ooh. that has had more trouble since the DC-10. Uh, that is unfortunate. Seven months ago, it took us seven months, but we finally seven completed months. the railroad. We did it. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> What's that like? What's that one like? Really jolly Kevin McLeod. Why is there a wheel here? What? Oh, it's what? the celebratory wheel. <laughs> it's the celebratory wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Every railway has one. The wheel you of know? victory. Oh, get out of my face! Oh, get out of my face! <laughs> the wheel of victory. The wheel of victory. 
Can we can we yeah, get a wheel in chat? Victory, can we get please. a wheel in chat, guys? <laughs> ah, ow! Hit us with the tails. <laughs> All right, tails coming you up. You don't have enough memory in the memory card. We did it. We did it, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, thanks for wheeling we chat, D-Man. <laughs> the victory wheel. Oh, Get the golden spike. Real railroads have a victory wheel. Exactly. Well, I think that's a good note to oh, end on. It. Yeah. I was about to say, what is it like a... Uh... Uh, we've completed. Was it the uh, something something Sisyphus something something? We have no purpose now. Well, I mean, we still haven't technically completed the game because we still need to make fuel. Yeah, we need. We need to actually do a run one day. We need to, and then we can start on the uh, the new yeah, map. We need to yeah, with, like, buy the, uh, a box the van. Everything. Whereas we need to buy a box van for the tools. We need to buy tankers for the oil. We then need to oh, yeah. transport the fuel, transport the fuel barrels with like the cordwood wagons. You know, we've got a lot to do. But in terms so of like done. cutting down trees and placing track, we've we've about done it, lads. Yeah. Well, I mean, we might decide that we need a better track one day. But Someone said, "Uh, out. Victor Royale, just like fourth night." It is just like the fourth night. Yep, of Five Nights at Freddy's. Joe Light Railway, if you keep asking that question, you're gonna get banned. Dude, dude is dead set on figuring out, like, female train characters. I, 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 the thing is, I thought I answered that question as well. I was just like, I'm not really that bothered. I don't see what massive difference it would make if Percy and Thomas the Tank Engine was a girl. What, what are you trying to gain from asking me this Nothing question? About that all night, man. Is this is this your thing? You know, what are you this doing? what gets you. This is what don't keeps you up at me. night. This what keeps it, it. It terrifies him. What is it? It's like um, unless he knows my opinion on whether or not Percy and Thomas the Tank Engine should be a girl, that he ain't sleeping. I am the reason this man has insomnia. <laughs> He's terror. It's like what is it? It's like in a like a H.P. Lovecraft novel. He's just like cursed with this knowledge and going insane. Oh, D Man asked, uh, "When will you host a cooking stream?" Chad, in parentheses, your children are hungry eternal or hunger eternally. I mean, a cooking stream requires I set up like a camera, and a, a, like on something like a laptop or like. I, it also means I've really got to like do a deep clean of my kitchen, so I don't, so the people at home don't see the absolute squalor in which I live. Why don't we do a cooking stream when I come into the UK and visit you? Yeah, but yep, hire a food. No yeah. shit, Sherlock. <laughs> what specific make, um, kind of food? I could show you to make Towtons. Yeah, it'd be really easy. You cannot fuck up Towtons. What is a Towton? It's fried dough. But, like, I mean, tasty. I mean, you can mess up basically, the dough. Basically, you make dough, you put it in, like, a pan of, like, a little bit of oil, and you fry it. So it's like a dough. Exactly. Well, no, no, it's not. It's, it's not sweet. It's salty. It's, like, very it's salty. A, yeah, it's very salty. So it's, it's, like usually, a, it's usually fried in, like, pork fat. So it's like a savory donut. Yeah, kind of. I mean, no. Ha have you heard of, like... I'm gonna look it up, see if you... It's a pancake-like bread dough, commonly made with riz and dough. Commonly made with riz? Yeah, Bring with riz. riz. Us cooking with riz. So true. Yeah, and you usually put I don't like know any other way to cook tot. Usually put like jam, sugar, molasses. Sometimes oh, yeah, we gotta get molasses. Sometimes right? cheese on them as well. Is that what yeah. we're gonna call like the cooking stream? Is just cooking with riz. Yes. Yeah. I'll have to like determine what I want to make because usually my go-to thing I make 
is a pasta bake. And pasta I'm, what? Pasta bake. What's that? You basically you make for me it's you make a tomato sauce there you put in peppers, onions, and mushrooms in, a, in a, like a big tom- in like a tomato sauce. Add pasta. Wow. Throw that in a dish. Oh. Layer of cheese okay. sauce on top with plenty of mozzarella. Whack it in the oven. Cook it. Pasta bake. Pasta bake. I thought you were saying it like as, as like a single th- like pasta bake. It's like, no, it's a pasta. Pasta space bake. Pasta. Gotcha. B man said, "Um, train of thought." I think Mike and River are just jerking your chain and making a more imaginary Canadian food. I'm jerking something. It wouldn't what? surprise me. You two like to rattle me with, like, fake Canadian things. I know we do, but I'm genuinely not joking. Toutons yeah, the, are the, these are genuine. Towton's are... It's a Newfoundland thing. Toutons it's not a Canadian thing. Good, oh, that'll be why. Also, someone, They're good. Also, someone's donated five euros for a cooking stream with Mike. Well, when Mike gets here, we're going to have to do the cooking stream. Absolutely, and I'd love that. Well, guess you're going to have to do a face reveal, Michael. I mean, unless we I have, like, the camera the... pointing down at, like, the chopping board and ingredients. He wears yeah, a bag like on his head. Babish, you know him? We can do that. Yeah, we do it the binging with Babish style. Yeah, it's just point at your cock the whole time. <laughs> I mean, Shut. that's what they're really here to see. Shut. <laughs> Uh, it is half past ten at night, and I do need to eat something. So we have, uh, we've been streaming for ages. We've been streaming for a while, so I think here's a good place to wrap it up. Yeah, um, I agree. Let's let me change out to that. There we are. Uh, five dollars to include. River uh, pay pay for pay for my uh flight. Yeah, you'd have to pay for a flight. There's there's yeah. no way around it. Mm. I'm I'm not going to the UK just to uh just, just to, to be make a cooking fucking, stream. <laughs> just to make some pasta bake. Well, I mean, why not like make a trip out of it anyways? If it's for business reasons, maybe. It, okay, if you set up a fucking company, then we can write it off on taxes. Yeah, Perfect. I, I need to have a proper discussion with how I need to, like, f- sort out my finances. Taxes <laughs> are scary, man. They could, send me, uh, I, they could send me to prison for what? Me I, not giving I, them I, my okay. money? I just get an Amish Fuckers. guy to do it because the Amish hate the government, so they they get as much money as you can from them. Ah, are but there you Amish see... in the UK? The, yeah, <laughs> like... River, where the fuck am I going to find an Amish person in the United <laughs> Kingdom? The Amish don't exist. <laughs> the, the Amish don't exist here, my dude. The closest you're gonna get is to like old school like travelers, like people that live in like the old wooden caravans that travel around. Yeah, I just do that. That's like the closest you're gonna get, but they have no fixed address. So what the, the hell am I supposed you know. to do? Just wander the countryside and like search for a wise traveler. I just I just wander through the Lake District until I find the Lake District monk who's always meditating under the tree. That's that's what I'm meant to do. Yeah, and that's how you get your taxes done in the UK. <laughs> Someone said, "What if TOT went to Canada to cook instead?" And then Demon said, "Impossible." <laughs> <laughs> You know, I respect D-Man for, like, for jumping in and taking the bullet for me there. Yeah, Tot, why don't you go to Canada instead of making them come to you? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, I should probably start wrapping this up now. Um, yeah, you it's know, been great, everybody. This has uh, been great. I'm going to play the Tugs theme real quick. Well, you can find me on Twitter at IRL on Fire. There's a link in the description. You can also see my artwork at Fur Affinity on uh, uh, Bunnies on Fire. The music uh, might be drowning you out a little bit. I know it isn't. I've seen the stream. Uh, and I know that <laughs> He's actively turning it up as you speak. Oh, you motherfucker. You listen here. You do I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you.
You can you can find me at on, on Twitter uh, at Static Delta. Oh Jesus, that's loud. Yeah, I'm gonna get. You can find me on Twitter at Static Delta. I, I genuinely cannot hear what you have to say, Mike. Follow me. I, 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 want, I, want to, I want this to be a meme, but I genuinely cannot understand the word you are saying over the text. You are being outblasted. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This has been a fun stream. Yeah, Good night. We finally completed the railroad. I mean, we still have more stuff to do, but you know. Nope, we completed it. No, we, we gotta grind to fuel. I gotta grind something. <laughs> and the stream is over. <laughs>